Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing today? What's going on? Sweet Edmund Pato, Hypen, Loophole, hello, hello, Clinton, here as usual, Daspir, what's going on? Hey, Diamond, kilometers per minute, Gavin Mal, Sonic the Saiyan Hog, Mr. Feces, Super Guy, Klon, Zedgar Brother, Mars, uh, Ezdress, oh my god, there's so many people! I'm sorry, I, I'm not gonna be able to read all these messages and read all your names, I'm sorry, there's too many of you! Why are you all here? Why are you all here? I know why you're all here. And we'll talk about it, but I just want to give people some time to get in the stream before we get into the meat of things. My god, it's like everyone. I, I recognize so many names! They're all here! You're not excited for it, brother? Understandable. I'll talk about it when uh, once we get things going. How's my day been so far? Pretty good. Uh, just uh, finished working on a video that will hopefully be coming out in the next couple of days. Uh, by the way, uh, I have a video coming out tomorrow, but if you want to go see it now, then you can head to my Patreon or Coffee pages, and there are links to watch the video a day before it comes out. But you do not have to donate to me. You can watch the video for free. You just got to go to those places. So uh, go check that out if you want. Oh, neat spin dash short. Thank you, Space Cowboy. Uh, I've been enjoying doing those shorts. Um, they're fun. Uh, kind of doing like quickie little one minute tutorials of some advanced tech in games. And obviously I'm starting with Sonic, but I want to branch out into... You know, action games and shooters and fighting games and just whatever I'm playing. Here's a cool little pro tip that a lot of players might not know about. Uh, and I like them. We'll see if uh, if they help grow the channel and grow the audience or anything. Well, Zedgar, that was the whole idea. If they make an official game called Sonic X Shadow, then that will override all the fan fiction. <laughs> Thanks, Pato. Uh, I figure I, I just don't like to do, like, locking stuff behind a paywall because it's just because you can afford to donate to me doesn't mean that you're a better fan that deserves more stuff, you know? I should put a uh, Patreon link in my description or something. I should do that, but I didn't do it. So I'm not going to do it this stream, but in future streams I'll do that from now on. You can get links to my Patreon and Coffee on the channel page. They're uh they're right there. Hey, uh, Blue Spheres guy. Oh my God, so many people. Okay, uh, I guess we're good to begin. So first. I'm just going to throw this on in the background. Let me know how the volume is on that. As we talk about Shadow Generations, uh, I will say I am surprised. Uh, I was not expecting this uh, with all the uh, the stuff that people were talking about uh, with all the leaks and Sonic Shadow Generations. I was thinking very low bar. It would just be Shadow as a skin for Sonic. Maybe some remix level design, kind of like Episode Shadow for Sonic Forces. Uh, but that's not what we have here. We have uh, Bowser's Fury for Sonic, and that is pretty cool, pretty interesting. I would not have expected that. Um, you know, Sonic has been trend chasing a lot and copying other games, and a lot of it have been like, please stop. But uh, this one, I'm like... Yes, this is a good thing to copy. This is a good thing to rip off. Because uh, I think this is a great idea of having a small little uh, bonus game as a companion with a re-release. It's very cool. Also, I'd like to point out, on stream, I've been saying that uh, I don't think that most Sonic characters can, can carry their own Sonic game. And I think Shadow is the only one. And here's the proof. I was right. Shadow gets his own game, because he's the only character that could get his own game. And also, of course, this is to tie in with uh, the movie. 
So that's all cool. I'm very surprised by uh, this being much more than I expected. However, ta talking about the actual content of what we see here, the first thing that stuck out to me within literally like two seconds of seeing the gameplay, uh, this is not Sonic Generations. I don't know how many people have been talking about this, but you can clearly tell that this is using current Sonic Team's gameplay and framework. That initial shot of Shadow grinding on the rail on the arc, that camera angle is straight out of Sonic Forces, 100%. So this is using their current tech. This is not built out of generations. Like these are not extra levels for generations. This is like a second smaller companion game that uh, is being bundled with Sonic Generations. And I think that's probably a smarter choice because all of the people that made Sonic Generations, most of them aren't at Sonic Team anymore. So they would not be able to match the quality of generations if they tried to make new content in that framework for that game. So this is probably their best bet here. Um, and yeah, you can clearly tell. It looks like Forces, kind of. It looks. It's probably going to be closer to Frontiers, like cyberspace levels. Um, and you can tell that it has the kind of level design from those games. Like, if you look at Generations, it's like bigger, sprawling things, and the levels are more integrated into the environment. These look like cyberspace levels, where it's just platforms floating in nothing. Uh, so yeah, definitely current Sonic Team stuff. Also, the stuff of the Bio Lizard here, you can clearly tell that, uh, this is the same team that worked on Frontiers, because that's got the same kind of animation that we saw in the boss fights of, uh, Sonic Frontiers. So that's cool, uh, that's some good stuff. And honestly, if that means that the Cyberspace team, uh, is doing the level design for this game, I'm kind of down for that. I'm excited, because I really enjoy the Cyberspace levels of Frontiers. Um... Yeah, we see Shadow doing Chaos Snap. That, to me, just looks like a uh, reskin uh, homing, atti homing attack. I don't expect there's going to be combat in here, uh, maybe in the boss fights a bit. But um, from what we see of that little glimpse of Shadow fighting the Bile Lizard, it looks like it's just using, like, typical gameplay. I don't think it'll have, like, Frontier's combat. Uh... Yeah, Gavin, that's definitely a thing. When you look at Sonic Generations, that game takes the original levels, I talked about this in my story video, and, like, does them bigger and better than they ever were originally. This doesn't look like that. This looks very, um, smaller scale than the original Generations was. These levels very much look like they're put together in the typical current Sonic Team way of reusing assets and just copy-paste shit around, and, uh, you know, the backgrounds are not nearly as well integrated into the environment and stuff. But, um, I am actually excited for this. This is the first time I've been excited for a new Sonic game since generations, actually. Uh, I don't... Well, I guess Superstars I was excited for. I don't expect this game to be amazing, though. I don't think it's gonna knock my socks off. Like, keep in mind that if this is a Bowser's Fury type deal, this is not gonna be a big thing. I'm expecting this game to be... Two hours maximum with cutscenes. I don't think this is going to be a very long game at all. Um, which I'm okay with. A short little uh, shadow thing. That'd be fine. Uh, if it's just like all cyberspace levels, I would enjoy that. Uh, let's see, what else to hit on? Uh, very surprising to see Doom's Eye. I thought that we would never see Black Doom ever again. I thought that was one of those things that is off-limit for modern Sonic, because Shadow the Hedgehog, but I guess with this being Shadow Generations, uh, yeah, I guess you gotta work on something, and that's kind of a weird thing. This is Shadow Generations, but there's not a lot of Shadow stuff, really. We got SA2, Heroes, kind of, Shadow the Hedgehog, and then 06 is, like, really all they have to pull from. So my guess is that this game is gonna be exactly what it says on the tin, Shadow Generations. Shadow is equivalent to Sonic Generation, so we'll be revisiting old levels, old boss fights. We see the fi uh, the Bio Lizard right there. So I'm expecting we'll have, yeah, the, uh, the Space Colony Arc as a level, Lethal Highway. We see uh, footage of the, the platforms look like it's Lethal Highway, though that level, it looks more like Westopolis when it's being invaded in the opening cutscene with like the red sky. But we also see all this, like, abstract, weird moving platforms or the buildings and stuff flipping over. So this is probably going to be a bit different than Generations. Maybe the levels will be mixing together or something like that. Uh, which is interesting. So I'm wondering what we'll see for other levels. Like, 
I would say optimistically we would get three levels per game and then just like Generations split it into three eras or three games in this case. So maybe three levels for SA2, three levels for Shadow the Hedgehog, three levels for Sonic 06 at best. Alternatively, it might just be two levels per game would be my prediction. So I'm expecting Lethal Highway, uh, Space Colony Arc, of course. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, maybe Westopolis, uh, maybe some internal, uh, arc stuff during the raid. Who knows what they're gonna do for Sonic 06 levels, but then boss fights, I'm assuming there will be one boss fight for each of those. Bio Lizard for SA2, Black Doom for, uh, the Shadow the Hedgehog section of the game, and then I'm assuming we're gonna see Mephilus for the Sonic 06 section as, you know, that, uh, fight, possibly. Oh, Super Guy, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, Sonic Shadow has been described as a collection, among other things, implying Shadow's part is its own separate game they're using Generations to sell. That's actually smart of Sega. Oh, yeah, no, they're, they're 100% this is a separate game. I imagine it's going to be just like Bowser's Fury, uh, where it'll be at the main menu. Do you want to play Sonic Generations or Shadow Generations for sure? Like, this is a different game. This is not an add-on to Sonic Generations. Not at all. Um... So yeah, all that I think is interesting. I'm curious what the final villain is going to be. The uh, website talks about Black Doom coming back. I imagine that's just to withhold what's really going on here. I could imagine Mephilus maybe being the final ultimate villain here because, you know, we're, do we're doing Sonic Generations, we're doing time travel stuff. So who's a shadow villain that has time powers? Mephilus, right? And this could maybe be a thing to address, you know, the deletion of 06, but it still kind of exists. So, uh, he's still gunning for Shadow, even after that whole timeline was deleted or something going on there is what I imagine. Uh, Infinite will come back? I... I don't know about that. I suppose, yeah, Shadow is playable in Forces. There could be Forces stuff in this, but I highly doubt it. I don't think they'll do Heroes or Forces, because those aren't, like, specifically Shadow things, you know? Um, now story stuff, uh, what are they gonna do for story stuff? I mean, I imagine it's gonna be Generations just Shadow revisiting past events, but that is a lot more important for Shadow than it is for Sonic, considering his relationship with his past. And I wonder what they're going to do about that, because if they want to be true to Shadow's character at this point, then it should be, I don't give a fuck about 50 years ago, Shadow. But we see on the uh, the recent Sonic website that came out that um, uh, Shadow's backstory was like retconned and he's back to being, uh, you know, trying to fulfill Maria's wish and having his memories again. So I assume that this game is going to explain that or tie into it or they're just retconning all of that stuff out of Shadow's character because people don't like it or don't know it. Uh, so I'm really curious to see where this is all gonna go. I'm also assuming that we're gonna see probably Rouge and Omega involved in this. I wonder if we're going to see Maria and Gerald. I would be really, really surprised if we saw Maria and Gerald in this, because, you know, humans are not allowed in modern Sonic stuff. So, what do they do about that? Are they breaking that rule? Are we finally doing away with that? Are we going to have humans show up finally? Is Gun gonna be involved? The Gun Commander? All that stuff? Who knows? But they are kind of breaking their rules a little bit because we have confirmation of that Shadow Skin uh, coming in Sonic Superstars, which I never thought they would do something like that. I was certain it was a hard rule no way are they allowed to have modern stuff show up in Classic, but they're doing it. So maybe they're breaking the rules. Maybe they're getting rid of all those limitations and finally just letting the series be what it always should have been, which is interesting. So I am curious to see what the story of this is going to be and how they're going to handle it. I assume Ian Flynn is going to be writing for this because he's the Sonic writer guy these days. I am skeptical about that, of course, uh, but I will approach it with an open mind. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I, I am actually excited for this. I am interested. I'm looking forward to it. I don't like that I'm going to have to buy Sonic Generations again for it. I wish that there was just buy Shadow Generations as a standalone thing, but they're not going to offer that as an option. And it's gonna work, and I'm gonna buy the frickin' game. 
Uh, hopefully they don't screw up the Generations remaster. And for anyone that uh, hasn't picked it up yet and you want to, get the PC version of Sonic Generations now while you still can before it gets delisted. Uh, because that's definitely going to go away. And it's going to get replaced with this version. And I assume all of the 10 plus years of mods are going to be uncompatible and they're going to have to be remade if the new version is even any good, which they're probably going to screw up something. I know the Sonic team is uh, apparently credited to be doing the remaster this time around, but honestly, that doesn't fill me with a lot of credit or a lot of confidence because have you played Sonic Frontiers? The game has a lot of technical issues. So we'll see. We will see. All very interesting stuff. Um, what's the verdict? My verdict is I am excited for Shadow Generations. I don't think it's going to be the greatest thing ever, but I think it will probably be pretty fun. I'm curious to see where it's going to go. I'm curious that it's breaking the rules. Uh, yeah, exciting stuff. Uh, oh, Syntech, thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. Japanese page doesn't say it's for Maria, according to Wendy's Twitter. Also, the Steam page mentions that Black Doom is the main villain. Yeah, they mentioned Black Doom is the main villain, but that could just be to hide the real main villain. Like, he appears like he's the main villain, and then at the final last second, oh, here's the real final villain, or something like that. That could very easily be the case. Um, curious stuff, curious stuff. I guess one last thing that I want to mention is that I highly doubt it, but I wonder if there's going to be any biblical allegory stuff going on here. Because if you look at all of Shadow's main stories from the games where he's most prominent, that is a part of Shadow's character. In SA2, he's kind of like a savior figure. Shadow the Hedgehog, Black Doom is literally Satan. Mephilus is also kind of a Satan analog character, and it's about tempting him with evil and stuff like that. So to me... A shadow story needs to have some sort of allegorical elements. The villain should be some kind of demon analog. But with Ian Flynn writing the story, I highly doubt something like that is going to happen. But who knows? Maybe he was given a story set up by a uh, Sonic team, so maybe that will be in there. Who knows? Uh, I don't expect that to be in there, but it would be nice because that's, uh, that's shadow stuff. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh... That's pretty much all I have to say about Shadow Generations. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I haven't really been reading chat too much because I've just been going. You basically all just watched a Pariah 695 video live. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, what are y'all thinking about the game? Are people looking forward to it? Are people worried about it? I have not looked at all about the online discourse or what people are saying. Uh, so let me know. I'm going to take a drink of water. Level design looks very Forces. Yeah, I mean, I expect it's the team behind Forces and Frontier Cyberspace levels that are doing these levels, so that is to be expected. Sweet, not interested because de nouveau? That's fair. Don't worry, it'll be cracked in a week. Glad I got off Twitter because it's bad. Yeah, I'm sure Twitter is uh, exploding. I'm sure there are many people excited for it, but there are probably a lot of people nit nitpicking every single little detail. Probably complaining that it looks like Forces 2 or whatever, but... I mean, what do you expect? That's current Sonic Team. Damn, none of the recent Sonic games have been cracked? De Nuvo actually doing its job for once. You hope it's Update 3 level design? I certainly hope so, too. Though we can tell, looking at the gameplay, that Shadow has, like, a more traditional-looking boost. So I imagine it won't have as much of the kind of free open movement and platforming that we see in Frontiers, it will probably be closer to a typical boost game, maybe a bit closer to Forces in terms of how it feels and stuff. I imagine the controls will probably be closer to Frontiers, so that's good. But who knows? We will see. We will see. Blue Star, that's a very minor thing. I don't think that's something to spell the doom and gloom of the game. Oh no, the boost panels are slightly off. Have you ever played a Sonic game? There's stuff like that all the time. Why not stand alone? To make you spend more money, that's why. 
Why didn't Nintendo release Bowser's Fury as a standalone? It's an incentive to get people to buy the game. They were smart because they realized that anyone that has PC, they are not going to buy a Generations remaster, especially after Colors Ultimate. So they're like, we gotta put something cool in there that they'll buy. <laughs> and you know what? It's gonna work. You didn't like uh, Forces or Frontiers, so you'll probably watch a friend play it like you did with Superstars King K. That's fair. Uh, I'll probably stream myself doing the first playthrough of this. Uh, so look forward to that, everybody. You're pretty relieved they didn't try to overhaul the graphics from the looks of it? I don't know, Subsonic Sparkle. In the footage of... Uh uh, the Generations part of it, the Sonic Generations part of the trailer, it does look like maybe there's a little bit of, like, enhanced lighting, but very minor. It looks a little different to me. But maybe I'm crazy. Any comment on the Japanese purist allegations? Uh, I mean, if people want to think what they want to think, go right ahead. I have complimented American Sonic stuff. I like Sonic Prime. I just, I just like things that I think are good. And with Sonic, most of that turn tends to be Japanese. Not my fault. Uh, Space Cowboy, thank you very much for the donation. You wonder if Shadow will have 2D sections? None have been shown in the short teaser. Oh my god, it's going so fast. Uh, and Shadow games haven't had 2D elements before. That would be pretty uh, cool if this was maybe Sonic Team doing some more experimentation with 3D-only gameplay like they did with uh, Final Horizon. I would like that. That would be cool. You wish they just do a 3D collectathon. I mean, that's uh, that's a whole other thing. That's quite ambitious for what's a small little game. Don't expect this to be very long. Actually, Sonic Prime is from Canada. You know what? You're right. So I like Canadian Sonic stuff, but not that filthy American Sonic. How am I doing? I'm doing well, Sonic White. Thank you for asking. Lighting, uh, some modders are saying is broken in the trailer. Nah, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It does look a little different to me. How many levels do I think this will have? My guess would be six to nine levels maximum is what I'm thinking. Because uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's just like Generation split into three eras. Probably each section dedicated to a game rather than an era. So SA2, Shadow the Hedgehog, 06. Two or three levels per. That's what I'm imagining. And then a boss for each one. Do I like American Sonic? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of American Sonics. I like Sat AM. I think Sat AM is pretty okay. You thought three max? No, I think it'll be more than that. I expect it to be considerable enough. Like, they, they probably put some decent work into this to make it a good incentive for people to want to buy the game. If it's like a 30 minute long little thing like Episode Shadow, that's not going to get people to buy. I don't think. Uh, th this is going to be more of a thing, I think. Definitely have SA2 levels like White Jungle. Yeah, something like that. Or Skyrail, one of the, one of the other. But how long will the levels be? That is a really good question, because Forces and Frontier Cyberspace levels are all really short. Maybe I imagine these might be a bit longer, would be my guess, because uh, I don't think there will be many levels in this. Hopefully. Like, maybe average Sonic level length, two minutes to five minutes. Hopefully. We'll see. If this game has the crusty turning of Frontier Cyberspace, don't worry, modders will fix it if it is like that. <laughs> yeah, they already showed Final Rush, uh, so... We'll see. We will see. The Jelly Lord, thank you very much for the donation. I've been seeing your comments on all my videos. You're really uh, marathoning through my stuff. I'm glad you like it. As a Shadow fanboy... This hit just the right notes for you. Uh, you hope that OG Gens doesn't get delisted and that Shadow Portion is improvement on cyberspace level design with longer stages. Hopefully. Hopefully. Though I am nearly 100% certain the original Gens is going to get delisted. Grab it while you still can. 
Uh, Gessakai, thank you very much for the donation. You think the gameplay is going to be fine? Your concern is the story and voice acting? Well, I'm going to play it in Japanese, so I'm not worried about the voice acting. Story? We will see. We will see. Even outside of Ian being the writer for it, you know, Sega's been very weird about how Shadow is allowed to be written, so who knows how that's going to go. Flashy, oh my god, so many donations. Thank you all so much. I really, really do appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Uh, Metal Sonic was hyped in Sonic Colors Ultimate only to be a time attack. Yeah, what's up with that? Why didn't they, like, if you beat all the races of Metal Sonic, you unlock him as a skin to play as? Like, come on now. That's obvious stuff. Uh, but okay, I think that's enough of just, uh, sitting here for this. So how about we start playing some Sonic Adventure games? Uh, give me a second to get the game going. 300 plus people? I know. People are really excited about Shadow Generations. Oh, get ready. You're about to get blasted with the Sonic Adventure intro. Why is it so loud? Why does it have to be so loud? Can someone please make a mod to quiet down the title screen? Because it's always been so loud ever since the game originally came out. I'm skipping all the cutscenes, by the way, because I'm trying to play through both games. I can beat Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 both in about two hours if I skip cutscenes. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Really a bad way to start a game, in my opinion, just right into a boss fight. Have I ever done SA1's victory pose in the shower? Probably as a kid, maybe. I don't know. I did all kinds of Sonic shit as a kid. Hey guy. Is it Japanese? Of course it's Japanese. Who do you think I am? Plus, who wants to watch the SA1 cutscenes? Agreed. Oh yeah. Gotta turn on the free camera. You see I'm not using the classic models? Nah, figured I would go for the original. I right, fucked that up. I haven't played these games in a bit, so excuse me if I play like shit, like that. What the hell just happened? Jesus Christ. I'm trying to do all kinds of shortcuts and skips and I'm out of practice. There we go. Oh my god, uh, donation by Brickster Man. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. You know, Final Russian Shadow Gens reuses assets from Shadow Boss in base generations. It took time for you to notice that. I did not notice that, but I guess that's not surprising with how current Sonic Team operates. Horizon trying to do skips and failing miserably. Absolutely. I can't stop myself from doing things that I'm not really good enough to do. Is the PC port of Adventure worth playing without mods? Uh, I would say so. I mean, there's no really better ways to play Sonic Adventure these days unless you want to hunt down an actual, like, Dreamcaster GameCube and get the old versions. SA1 is just a good game? I don't know if I'd agree with that. I wouldn't say it's just a good game. There's a lot about this game that's not so good. Yeah, I'm playing with a bunch of mods turned on, by the way. That was the emblem challenge, which replaces lives with emblems. Instead of all the, like, stupid missions, uh, you hunt for them. Like that there. I'm not really gonna go out of my way for him, though. Just playing through the base game. Am I playing DX or OG? I am playing modded DX uh, with the Dreamcast conversion mod and many, many, many other mods to modify things. Why would you play it without mods? I don't know. Uh, do I think that the Biolizard boss elements will be taken from 3DS gens? No, not at all. Not whatsoever. How much do I think Shadow gens will be? I'm expecting 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks for the whole thing. Oh wait, hold on. We can get this right now. How many people know about this? You're supposed to use the light speed dash here, but you can just uh, do this.
SADX is worth it just for the 60 FPS patch. Yeah, personally, I prefer DX to the original game because 60 FPS and uh, being able to skip the cutscenes. That's a classic skip. Yeah, a lot of people know that, I assume. This is always the part when you start your Sonic Adventure run that's all boring and you're just like, bleh. The Egg Hornet. Why does Sonic need to take the train? Uh, good question. Oh, damn. My mashing, uh, didn't detect there. My controller is going. I still haven't replaced it yet. Uh, probably Subsonic Sparkle, because, uh, this was a launch title for Sonic Adventure, whereas SA2, they had more time to learn about, uh, you know, the Dreamcast hardware so they could get it running better. Uh, and I don't know, they just screwed up the port with DX. Eric Schusler, thank you very much for the donation. Thoughts on Hayden Christensen as a Shadow? Uh, I think he is a good voice pick, if that's what they're gonna go with. Sure, why not? Yeah, Desper. Uh, my, uh, my controller. Definitely. Oh, yeah. You know what? I definitely know why that, uh, that homing attack failed there. It's definitely my controller. Decided to keep the normal Windy Valley for this playthrough, because why not? Let's, let's go with the vanilla. Drax, you don't like Hayden Christensen as Shadow? I think he could do a fine job. Xbox One or Series controller? It's an old, uh... It's actually a, uh... Ghoulie Kit King Kong Pro 2. And it is dying on me. If I could create the perfect 3D Sonic game, what would it be like? Uh... You're gonna have to wait for the video on that one. This level is interesting, is it? I find this level to be quite boring. A lot of it is just uh, running forward on these paths. The beta version of this level is infinitely better. Uh, yeah, Blue Star, you don't have to get the Chow emblems uh, in the emblem challenge. They're all collectibles replacing lives. Hey Jello, what's up? I'm playing the Sonic Adventure games, cause why not? Figure I should probably play some Sonic games on this stream one of these days. It's a showpiece trailer bait level with all the rail loops? Yeah. I mean, that's a whole lot of holding forward I'm doing right now. Isn't it great? Uh, what's the name of the emblem mod? It's called the Emblem Challenge. It's on my spreadsheet. If you want to check it out. No Windy Valley skip? I'm not a speedrunner. I don't know all the crazy stuff. I do not know how to skip Casinopolis. I'm gonna have to actually play it, unfortunately. What do I think is the best level in SA1 and 2? Best level in SA1 is hands down Red Mountain, no questions. If you think it's something else, you're wrong. Uh, best level in SA2? Probably Final Rush, I would say. Speed Highway is way better. No, not even close. Not even close. My opinion on the Mario and Sonic of the Olympic Games? Uh, there will be a video coming out about that in a couple of days. So look forward to it. Yeah, I have a mod that just gives you instant light speed dash, which is nice. Red Mountain was pretty okay. Emerald Coast, though. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. I'll show you why Red Mountain is so cool. All right, this level. 
So I don't know how non-speedrunners approach this. I know you can like clip through the wall here and just finish the level instantly, but I don't know how to do it. So here's what I do. I just don't play the pinball and I just intentionally go to garbage and you can get enough rings there that you can just do it in one go. Has anyone ever been able to collect those items on the sides by going up the tubes? I have been playing this game literally since it originally came out on Dreamcast, and I have never gotten them ever. You always, like, glitch and break and fall through, and I I've never gotten them. I think you want to go... Le no, 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 I don't want to go left here. I want to go straight. I missed my opportunity there, so you're gonna have to go back down. Because you need pretty much every single ring along the way. People have been saying Mephilus could appear. I think it's extremely likely Mephilus will be in Shadow Generations. Will I ever stream Sonic Heroes? Absolutely. I was not planning on streaming today. Uh, there was gonna be a video that was gonna come out, but then I decided, eh, people probably want to know my thoughts on, uh, Shadow Generations. So sure, we'll stream, and I'll play the Sonic Adventure games. I was gonna do that eventually anyway, so let's just do it now. Why is there so much people today? Because people are excited about Shadow Generations. Gotta be very careful not to get hit, because if you get hit, you have to do it all over again. I stream PO6 or Utopia? Definitely PO6. I don't know if I'll stream Utopia just because there's not a lot to that. It's not really a game. We're a little bit short, but we should be able to make that work using these. Hopefully, hopefully it's enough. Should be. There we go. Got enough. That's how I normally play Casinopolis. Man, if it wasn't for that invisible wall, you could literally just slope jump right up there and get it. Why the fuck didn't shower? Oh yeah, I, I, I did not bother with that. Yeah, Evelyn, lots of people in here. I ever watched Ross's Game Dungeon? I don't know what that is. Why is it called Sonic X Shadow Generations? Because in Japan, X is like a thing. Uh, it would probably actually be called Sonic Cross Shadow. Uh, is probably what they call it in Japan. Like uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Same kind of deal. Yeah, Godzilla, X-Kong, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Now this level, not one of the better ones. There's this whole section here, but you can just not play it by doing this. So that's the entire first area, com just not done. And then uh, you can skip quite a bit of this area as well, if the camera wants to work with me, by going to here. And that is the entire section, second area of uh, Ice Cap completed, and the scripting is exploding. And then all that's left is uh, the snowboarding section, which is kind of boring. Oh, 
you thought I would like being able to finish levels really quickly? I like being able to finish levels really quickly when it's fun to do. But that's just like, okay, I'm just not gonna play the game. That's okay, I guess. Yes, I know where all those hills are by memory, because I've played this game approximately five gajillion times. Whoa, Jesus, hit the wall there. When a Sonic level is too broken for its own good. That's basically every level in this game. What else do I expect for Sonic in 2024 besides Shadow Generations? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe a spin-off of some kind? There's a rumored Chow game? Finally? Are they finally doing the Chow mobile game they should have done a decade ago? The boost gameplay is way more unique than any gameplay uh, Sonic was ever in. It's also way more shallow than any other gameplay Sonic was ever in. A Chow mobile game tied to Netflix? What the fuck? Let's see if I can do the thing here. Can I do the thing? Okay. Hey, I got it! If you can, uh, hit that ramp right, then you can skip over that one platform that slows you down. Yeah, it's okay. Mission 53 moment? Yeah, exactly. People who played the mission mode, mission mode know. Oh shit, it's time for the best part of the game. God, Pariah, you're so hard on boss fights. What's a good boss fight to you? I'm using a mod that reduces Chaos 4's health, so he's only three hits instead of however many he is normally. I don't even remember. What an exciting boss. I can just... Nah, I'll just re-chat. I'll just re-chat for this fight. This game has some of the worst boss fights in gaming, not even joking. This game doesn't even have the worst boss fights in a Sonic game. I would give that to 06 or Rush or Superstars. Good boss design right there. Oh yeah, for sure. I definitely think that a boss fight where you stand around and do nothing for 95% of your playtime, that is an exciting boss right there. You think Pry just hates boss fights in general? I hate bad boss fights. Blah 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 blah. Skip all this. See now, this is why you definitely play the PC version of Gen er, of uh, Adventure with mods because there is uh, this button. Alright, we're done with that. I just saved myself uh, several minutes there. Good mod! Uh, thanks to the awesome dude who made that. Much appreciated. That was literally the exact same amount of gameplay that you get when you play the level normally. <laughs> Wait, this uses the classic models? Yeah, the uh, in the Dreamcast version of the game, it used the Saturn models for uh, the plane. Okay, where are we? I don't remember at the store. Oh yeah, we did Amy time, which we meet Amy over here. Right? No, wait, no, no, no. I'm just going on pure memory uh, for all the story beats. 
We gotta go here. Yes, hello, Amy. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, it's zero. Alright, back to playing a video game. Finally. I mean, looking at all that that we just played through, it's not that great, is it? Like, Emerald Coast to me is not a hugely great level. Windy Valley is a lot of holding forward. Uh, Casinopolis is Casinopolis. Ice Cap is you skip the entire level and then do a mediocre snowboarding section. Uh, then you have to go through all that Knuckles and Chaos 4 and plain crap. Uh, and it's only now that you get back to having a fun time playing a video game. Unleashed bosses suck. I think for Sonic game standards, Unleashed has pretty okay bosses. Adventure 1 levels have way too many minigames? Oh, absolutely. Way too much minigame stuff in this. No masterpiece, but the vibes are very immaculate. Yeah, but I feel like in a game that's focused on replay value, the game should be better. <laughs> You should prioritize having a fun to play through game. I know you can skip the roller coaster, but I don't know how to do it. I just know how to skip the rest of the level once the roller coaster is over. This level really highlights the strengths and weaknesses of Sonic Adventure really well, because it's so freeform, but it's so freeform that enables you to do things like this. Come on, get over it. Get over it, you bitch. There we go, so I just skipped a huge section of the level, and I just skipped another huge section of the level. And now we're pretty much at the end of the level, and now I just skipped that, and now the level is over. Such beautiful level design. <laughs> That's just abusing the level design? Yeah, maybe the level designers should have known what you can do in their own video game. But you can just jump over that fence? Yes, you can. <laughs> you love skipping the entire level in like five spin dashes? I mean, it's fun. I'm not gonna say it's not fun. But it's not exactly great game design, is it? <laughs> Am I playing on controller or keyboard? Controller. Maybe this game sucks, actually. It does kind of suck, Frickerific. But that doesn't stop it from being really fun. Oh yeah, Blue Star, you're learning all the skips. Now you're gonna have to do them anytime you play the game. Like right here, for example. Did you know you could do this? I just skipped a giant chunk of the level right there. By the way, I have figured out almost all of these skips just by myself, because I've played this game so much. Sonic Generations reference? Yeah, pretty much. Sick homing attack chain. Very necessary. Would a no-spin dash run of Sonic Adventure be fun? I don't know. That might be worth doing one day. Playing Sonic Adventure, no spin dashing allowed. You have to actually play the game. That might be interesting. I should do that. I'm going to stream that at some point. You can roll here to go faster? See, I never knew if rolling actually sped you up or not. I wasn't sure. Oh, screwed that up. Here's another uh, big skip that a lot of people probably don't know. You can uh, do this and clip right through the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Rolling makes you invincible into the helicopters. I mean, it's not like you're in much danger of being hit by those helicopters. Stream is lagging. It looks perfectly fine on my end. Maybe try refreshing. Might be on your side. 
All right. Stream is lagging a lot. Looks fine to me. Other people are saying it's not lagging, so the thing is definitely on your end. I'm not seeing anything over here. Just showed up and stream is fine for you? All right, good. It seems like it's fine. What's up, Patelikanistic man? How you doing? All right, now for this move that is completely useless. Yeah, try refreshing if you're having issues. Literally useful for only this and nothing else. All right, here we go. Best level time. Literally best level in the game. Because this level really feels like it is built for all the kinds of bullshit you can do in a really fun way. Like, that's fun. You gotta land on that small platform to do a big skip. That's very Sonic. And then you spin dash up the bridge to get up here. That's another thing to do. You can even go up on that upper area, but I don't really think it's much faster than doing this. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's slower. The one time you do, like, a homing attack chain in the entire game. Mash the A button. Oh, man, look at this amazing level design. What do I do here? I mash the A button. Oh, wait, I don't even have to do it. Uh, let's see. Can I do... Where is the crazy big skip? I don't remember. Could have gone up on the higher area there, I think, but whatevs. Yeah, I don't remember, but there's like a crazy gigantic skip you can do where you land on that right there. That like uh, tunnel you go through and then just jump right to the end, uh, which is very cool. And even this part has cool stuff in it. Like uh, this whole big room here, but instead of going that way, you go this way. And then you use the weight to push this to create a slope that you can slope jump off of. To get up here. Oh shit. Now I gotta do it over again. There we go. And then hitting this spring causes the lava to rise. And I think you can, uh, yeah, go this way. That's cool. That's a fun route. That is the best level in the game. That is the best level in the game. Screw you. Screw you. That's the best level in the game. I'm a day bin. It's been pretty good. Uh, did some work on a video, and now I'm doing this. Oh shit, here we go. Oh god, that's really loud for me. Sorry if that's loud for you guys. Okay, we're already at the boss. Oh, I know. We have to do the transform sequence. Did they intend any of that? Probably not, considering how the rest of this game's level design works. And then we just fly through all that. And then you get to the boss, which is defeated by mashing the A button and doing nothing else. Alright, I defeated the boss. Man, Pariah, you're just so hard on bosses. What's wrong with that boss? It's a kid's game. I assume I'm ruining this game for a lot of people, but this is fun to me. I enjoy playing the adventure games like this. Do I think at some point Sonic's movement was more limited? Uh, probably. Maybe. I mean, if you look at the level design of the game, it seems like they designed the entire game without the spin dash in mind. 
I imagine they did not really intend for you to use it, and they just threw it in as, like, a game-breaking advanced mechanic for players to fuck around with if they want. Do people play this game without breaking the levels? I assume so. Poor people. You're missing out on all the fun. No wonder they nerfed it in SA2. They didn't really nerf it in SA2. It's still very good. The level design just doesn't really allow for it to be as dominant. But like something like that. It seems like they did not design that with the spin dash in mind. Because if they did, they would have put it further away. So you would have to actually use the pulley. Or use that ladder. Or use any of the level design over there. Or have to go on to these things. But you know, at the same time, Sonic games are all about uh, if you're good, if you're advanced, if you know what to do. You can skip all kinds of bullshit. So maybe it is intentional somewhat, kind of. Yeah. I ever watched Megamind? When I was a little kid, when it originally came out. I don't really remember it. I don't really know what's the optimal path there to, like, do that really fast. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay, cannon. That's rare. Another big skip. This is classic Sonic Adventure camera-based level design, where you're supposed to go this way now and then go all through that to, like, get to... But then it's like, oh, wait. You could just do this. And you could just do this. And you can just do this. It's possible to hit the capsule there if you're really precise with it. So that was Sky Deck. Yeah, definitely want to do a, uh, a spin dashless run of this game now to see what it's like. This level sucks. I mean, I think it's fun to play when you uh, do shit like that camera-based level design is really funny. It's a thing in a lot of Sonic games. Does this fucked level design make you feel like Sonic? Uh, it makes me feel like a game tester. Am I gonna make a Sonic X video? Yes. Alright. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 shut up. Stop flapping your lips. Yep. Alright, let's see if I get lucky. Can I hit the button with the sparklies? I didn't hit the button with the sparklies. Why am I so hard on Sonic bosses? That one was peak. You're right. You're right. When is the continuity video? Uh, Within the next two or three weeks. Probably. Unless you mean the timeline video, that'll be next week. It was gonna be this week, uh, and then Shadow Generations happens, so now I want now I'm doing this. Oh shit. Here's a little pro tip for you. Light speed dash, for some reason, or light speed attack, does double damage. I don't know why, but it does. That fucking hit the thing. Don't you one freeze, bitch. There we go. Hey guys. Am I gonna do Knuckles too? I'm gonna do all the characters. I'm gonna do full playthrough of both SA1 and 2. Hopefully. Don't know how long it'll take. Wow, we're already an hour in, but we're also talking about Shadow Generations quite a bit. Uh, where the hell does this plop you out? Right here. This level is really fucking annoying. Long-ass stream? I mean, my streams are normally around, like, three and a half, four hours. Probably about how long it'll take. Maybe four and a half, maybe five to beat both adventure games. It's 
see if I can get through. Damn, got through without hitting anything. Now that is rare. I'm gonna try to do this the fast way, which means I'm probably gonna screw it up and die. The real Lost World? I would definitely rather play this Lost World than the game Lost World. Stop asking about Pizza Tower. I'm gonna play Pizza Tower. Everyone, shut up. Hey, I did it. I did it the fast way. Very easy to screw that up. Original uh, Saturn version of the game texture in the background there. Let's see, can I skip the darkness trigger? No, I got it. There we go. Yeah, you can just jump over the trigger volume that makes it dark. Damn, I, I don't know if I've ever been hit by one of those arrows in my entire life. What do I think is the best Sonic final boss? Uh, pass? Uh, maybe SA1 or Colors? One of those? Now this I don't like to spin dash because if you go too fast, then the rubber banding on the boulder can very easily kill you. So I just play it safe. This game with no lives looks fun as hell. I mean, lives haven't really been a factor in this. <laughs> Doesn't really make a difference. Ah. Hey, would you believe it that there's like a crazy way to skip this entire part of the level? Look, I just did it. Yeah. Big arm is pretty good, but that's not a final boss. Do I know what's beyond death? Does anybody? Uh, how much of the design of a game is intentional and how much is it by accident? Uh, these games? A lot of it is by accident, I think. Uh, I feel like the classic games have a lot more intentionality in their design. There we go. This is a fun level, too. Because it's all, like, close quarters, you can't do nearly as much, like, skipping crap. So, uh, it's more like playing a level in a video game. Yeah, get off the wall. This level, this part of the level, you can do some cool stuff. Because uh, there's more camera-based level design here. Don't know if I'll be able to get it, but I'll try. That You can land on that if, you're, if you if uh, you are precise with it. Let me see. I'll get another try here. Nope, not going to get it. Alright, I'll do it the boring way. I wonder if I even need that. Don't need that platform. Let's see, I don't remember where to look here. Yeah, I screwed that up. You can jump all the way right to the end here. While the platform is rising, if you jump, then it'll add to your jump height. You skip all the way to the end. You were surprised to see Black Doom in Shadow Generations Telekinistic Band? Yeah, so was I. Uh, I thought that character would be off limits forever. Uh, I talked about that at the beginning of the stream. I did like a whole thing 
talking about my thoughts of uh, Shadow Generations. I'm looking forward to it. As someone that enjoys the cyberspace levels of Sonic Frontiers, I am looking forward to it. It was just because it was referenced to old thing I know and remember. I mean, to be fair, Telekinistic Man, it is Shadow Generations. They're doing the same thing Sonic Generations did. So I would give it a bit of a pass in this case. It's the companion game to Sonic Generations. It's Shadow Generations. Yeah, of course there's going to be shit from uh, older games. Hello, Kristen. What's going on? I'm playing Sonic. That's kind of what I do. Why isn't there a classic shadow? Uh, give it two weeks and there will be one. I believe you want to go here? Yes. Oh, I went through. Don't go through this time. Best controller of all time? I would say Xbox controller. I think that the uh, button layout and everything on, like, Xbox One, Xbox Series controller is pretty much perfect. The only thing is that they don't have a gyroscope in them, which they really should have. Oh, I'm sure they'll fuck it up, Telekinistic Man. They always fuck up the remasters. Series X controller is so good. Yeah, I don't have a Series X controller, uh, but it's basically exactly the same, right? Slightly shaped differently. Wow, is that the original uh, Dreamcast sound effect for that laser? I haven't heard that since I played the original Dreamcast version when I was a little kid. A really devastating attack, that is. I remember the first time I was doing this boss as a little kid, I died there so many times because I would try to hit Eggman immediately and I would not, uh, not wait for him to back up. I think it's going to be an actual remaster or just a port. Uh, they might touch up the... It looks like the lighting effects are slightly different. I had a Dreamcast? Yes, I did have a Dreamcast as a kid. I played OG Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 and Sonic Shuffle. By the way, how many people know this? If you just don't move after hitting Eggman, the boss fight will just not continue. The camera has to flip around like that. They said there'd be bonus content in gens itself aside from Shadow. My guess would be playable Shadow and maybe some extra missions or something like that. Whatever, Telekinistic Man. You don't config the game with the config launcher. You config it with the hedge mod manager. So whatever, no big deal. Yeah, I would imagine Drop Dash is going to get added to Classic Sonic in uh, Sonic X Shadow. In uh, Sonic and Shadow have a, have a romantic evening generations. Yeah, probably some Colors Ultimate character customization as well. And that's Sonic's campaign. How did the game end up being called Sonic X Shadow Japan? Hey guys. So all these people that are like JoJo references, characters going ora 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 is very common in Japanese stuff. That is not a JoJo thing. That's just a thing in Japanese action things. 
Select your character. All right, on to Tails. But how didn't someone stop them? Japan. <laughs> Everyone was fine with it. All right, so now that we played through the Sonic campaign and it was pretty fun, let's play through all of it again, but now it'll be less fun. First thing, of course, we gotta get the jet anklet. Come on. Oops. Do I think SA1 will ever get a remake? Uh, probably eventually one day. Uh, would I care? Uh, yeah, I'd care. You like Tails' voice in JP in SA1 and 2? I didn't. Him voice being by an actual child is not a good idea. I much prefer the voice they changed into. Am I gonna play the Supersonic story? Now I'm gonna do all the characters and then I'm gonna stop there, I think. Of course I'm gonna do the Supersonic story. So now I can't cheese this. I have to do the fight for real, which basically just means a lot of waiting. So I'll read chat. What do I want them to do in an SA1 remake? Uh, you're gonna have to wait for a video for that one. That's my response to many a question I get on stream, because I have plans. I have so many plans for videos. Am I gonna play big? Yes, I will play big. Big's campaign takes like 15 minutes to do. It's no problem at all. Which Sonic games do I think are more accurate translation of classics into 3D, adventure, or boost? I mean, both of them have aspects that are right and wrong. I would say in terms of the moment-to-moment -moment game feel, boost is much closer. What a great boss. What a great boss. Did I see the Sonic X mod for SRB2? Uh, I saw a little bit about it. But I don't really pay that much attention to SRB2 mods. Uh, did I play Splatoon 3 in time? I haven't picked it up yet. I got time left. It's still like a week on the sale, right? Plenty of time. Mao, uh, thank you for the donation. Check out Pangolin Cassowary. It just came out. Uh, I will keep that in mind and I will look into it because I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of it. Pangolin Cassowary? What is that? Alright, so here's how I... What This is what makes me think that all the skippy shit you can do in the level design here is unintentional. Because you could literally just fly from the very beginning of Tails' Windy Valley to the end of it without ever touching the ground. Man, the Sonic Adventure games are just flawlessly designed games, aren't they? Truly the peak of Sonic. It's never been better than these games. Sonic 3 and Knuckles? No. This is what it's all about. Wasn't that such a fun level? This level is definitely not built for Tails. The only level that feels like it was built for Tails is Speed Highway. Sonic rubber bands so desperately. Yeah, it's crazy how uh, Sonic just teleports. He's using Chaos Control. He shouldn't know how to do that yet. All right, so it's time to play the garbage section of uh, Casinopolis again. But now, uh, it's like a tight, closed-in area, so you can't even use flight to like bullshit through it. So it's literally just do the exact same level again. Do I think Sonic Mania has the best uh, classic Sonic boss fights? Uh, yeah, obviously. I don't remember. I think the right here is the fast way, but whatever. I'll just go forward. Oh no, this this might be the fastest way. I don't remember. And that's done. Wow, this guy's faster than Sonic. Also, Tails beats Sonic in a race. It's true. It's true. 
Is that momentum in my Le Rough transition game? Uh, no, it's not actually. That's called gravity. When you accelerate going downhill, that's gravity, not momentum. This game doesn't really have a lot of momentum. It has a little bit of it, but not a lot. All right, so we just play that again, but now we get to play the snowboarding section again, which is literally exactly the same as what it was before. The Tails campaign is not good. Sonic 2 drops off in quality after Mystic Cave. What's after Mystic Cave? I don't even remember. Oil Ocean, Metropolis. I mean, I like both of those zones. I think everyone who doesn't like Metropolis is just bad at the game. Come on, Tails. All physics mean momentum in Sonic games? It's true. Momentum is just a, a catch-all term for physics in Sonic lingo. When is the Sonic 3 movie prediction video? I don't know, when I feel like doing it. I should get on that relatively soon. But first I have to watch Sonic 2, and I don't want to. I hit the wall again in the exact same way. What the fuck? Have I played the Cream and Rouge campaign mods? Uh, I haven't played them for myself yet, but they do look very cool. And the models are really on point at capturing the SA1 art style. Very impressive. Sonic's English is cute. Oh yeah, I love Sonic's English. Always have. Come on! All the shit he says. You know, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. People aren't gonna like it, but I'm gonna say it. I think the music in this game is a little overrated. It's good. It's good for sure. But I don't think it's the best. I don't think it's the most amazing Sonic music ever. I think SA2 has a better soundtrack, and I think Heroes has a much better soundtrack. Let's see, can I get the, the big jump twice in a row? Nope, not at all. Big fuck up. Is the Mystic Ruins part of Angel Island? No, it is not. I'll show it uh, when we get out to outside of the cave. Uh, the Mystic Ruins used to be part of the Knuckles civilization, but uh, the piece of it that broke off and flew into the sky was, like, separated from uh, Angel Island. Angel Island is this. What's the camera? I don't know if... I think I have to go to auto camera? Yeah. This is Angel Island. This big, darker red here... Uh, see how that's like a dirtier, kind of reddish-brown? That is the Mystic Ruins. That is Angel Island. Why is Angel Island so tiny? Is it tiny? It's a giant fucking wall. Who lives in those houses and hot air balloons, uh, if this is on Angel Island? Uh, the animals that live on the island? I guess? I don't know. Nicely for this mod, Tails only has two hits on Chaos 4, so it's even faster, which is good. Compared to 3k, it's miniature? Well, we don't play the entire island. We just go to it for a small sliver. It's only got two levels there. There's more island than what we play. You know this if you talk to the NPCs chat? Yeah. Or if you go on Sonic websites in the 2000s as a kid. Did anyone go on the old Sonic website? I, I don't remember what it was called. Was it Sonic Channel? Where it was like it had that dark blue and it had like the boxes all over the place? Who knows what I'm talking about? I went on that website a lot around like Sonic Heroes days. Sonic Central? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonic Central. The old version of it. I went on that website so much back in the day. Rhythm and Tempo, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, you don't think Momentum is a catch-all 
uh, for physics. They're two different things. Sonic 4 absolutely has physics, but is not considered because it lacks momentum. Uh, yeah, Sonic 4, Episode 1 in particular. Momentum is non-existent in that game, bizarrely. Well, it has a little bit of it. It has acceleration momentum, but it has no deceleration momentum. God, thank God for this mod. Oh, it's your birthday, Reese Gaming? Well, happy birthday. Uh, why does the Master Emerald Shrine look completely different and is in a completely different location from in 3K? Uh, because they didn't feel like recreating the Hidden Palace just for a location for the Master Emerald to be, so they're like, fine, whatever, fuck it, it's good enough. That is the reason. You know I've played this game too much when I just remember all the locations to go at all the different story beats on pure memory. There could just be two altars. Yeah, but that's really weird, and like the way this game depicts it, it really seems like that altar is the altar, the exact same one from long ago. Cosmic Metal, thank you very much for the donation. Remake idea, Chaos, chaos Traps, Patch of Kamex. Uh, head in a water bubble, drowning him and every, uh, Yon in sta everyone in Station Square dies and then becomes, when he becomes perfect. Uh, I guess that's something that could happen. That's the secret ending you can unlock. Everyone dies. I like to go for these, even though it's completely inconsequential. I don't even know if you can get the emblem for getting the score on your first run through. Also, it doesn't matter because I'm using the emblem challenge. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because why not? This level is better than the uh, ice cap one. Bam, one combo, whole level. Look at that. Am I playing with PKR's mod installer? Yeah, I'm the, the newest version that it automatically ups, updates to. There's like 50 Brazilians that follow Pariah's channel, maybe even more. There's probably definitely a lot more than 50. I don't know how many, but uh, out of my 20,000 plus subscribers, probably more than 50. I don't know why. For some reason, I appeal to Brazilians. Or maybe Brazilians just like Sonic. Got so loud. Sorry about that. How am I going so damn fast? That is a mod to skip these plane sections because they suck. Oh shit, boss time. Boss time again. Maybe it'll be tougher this time. Oh wait, I did it. I beat the boss. Nathman, uh, what are my issues with the Inflin's writing? Uh, he seems to lack an understanding of the more thematic elements of Sonic, hence why I do not think there will be any allegorical elements in Shadow Generations, which is unfortunate because all of Shadow's stories are very allegorical. I feel like that should be continued. That's part of Shadow, at least to me. Skydeck is actually a fun level with Tails, because you get to really flex his, uh, his flight quite a bit. The level is over in 20 seconds, but it's a fun 20 seconds.
Get off the goddamn pole. Fucked up. I fucked up. That's fine. I'll just get back up. And there we go. Has Ian been confirmed for Shadow Generations? I just assume he's writing everything Sonic these days for the games. He's the new Pontac and Graph, I figure. Game Grumps playing this game gotta be the funniest shit ever. It's pretty hilarious. I've watched a couple of Game Grumps Sonic playthroughs. I don't watch them normally, but it's so fucking funny to watch uh, Aaron suck at these games. And sometimes he gets really pissed and it's his fault because these games kind of suck. But sometimes it's just him being terrible and he doesn't know when it's his fault and when it's not. And it's so fucking funny. Now, they put a bunch of invisible walls here in this version of the stage, so you can't just fly right to that. Yeah, weird that Eggman calls him Tails-chan. He has never called him that ever in anything else before or after. Very weird. But I guess it makes sense that he's being, uh... Patronizing. Oh, fuck. That was bullshit. That shit just fucking appeared in my face and fucked me up. Thoughts on Game Grumps gameplay on this game? I mean, Aaron sucks and it's hilarious. What more thoughts are there to have than that? Died like a real Tails Chan? I guess I did. What are my thoughts on Zippo? I don't know. It's a leaker that leaks things. Good for them, I guess. The only level that actually feels like it's built for Tails. Uh, what's up with that, Jack Jackson? Either... They don't understand the ending of their own series in one of their previous entries, or they don't care and they're retconning it because they don't like it, or their fans don't like it. I remember when I was a kid and I first played this game, Tails' campaign was the last one I finished. I had a lot of trouble with, uh, Speed Highway. I was very satisfied when I finally beat it, and then I unlocked Super Sonic. It was the best day of my life. I think that was the first video game I ever beat in my entire life. And I felt very accomplished. Renoir, you like Ian's writing? I am not a fan. Beyond just, like, my disagreements on how he handles the characters and stuff and the tone, I also have found, at least in what I've read, that, like, the writing was actually, like, not great. At least in my opinion. I will talk about it more eventually. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, Blue Star. Is this a speed run? No, this is just me playing the game. I've just played this game way too much, and I can play it real fast, like. What do I think of the Sad AM characters? Ah, uh, they're perfectly good for what Sad AM is doing. I think they're fine characters. 
How would I make a Knuckles game? Uh, I think you could do a pretty cool, like, open collectathony type game with Knuckles. Physics are a little bit weird in this game. I don't know if you knew that. You love these Knuckles SA1 stages? Yeah, I think that the treasure hunting gameplay in SA1 is quite fun. The, the radar here makes it a lot more enjoyable than SA2. Just a quick little bout of uh, speedy exploration and you're in and out. Not bad. Alright, uh... Wait, where the heck do we go at this point? Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta go to Casinopolis. Even Knuckles stages are going by quickly. I mean, the, the that's not even like me doing fuckery. The normal game, one of the challenges is to beat these levels in under a minute. Let's see, where we got another one? Oh, there's one in the Sonic statue. That statue is classic Sonic because uh, the character design changes was a last minute thing. I think we gotta go up. In the lion's mouth. In you. In you. Wait, really? Yeah, Toxic. It was a last minute thing. There are still like references to the old models in the game. Like when you play Tails' levels and you do the third mission, and it says be an even faster Sonic. The picture is classic Sonic. It's his. It's, it's the Dreamcast model before they changed it. You never knew you could break that? You have to break that to get that piece. How'd you not know that? Have you never beaten this game before? I mean, maybe you just got lucky. Alright, now it is time to fight Kausu 2. Alright, traveling back in time to get Sega to not hire Yuji Uokawa. Yuji Uokawa is a fine artist. I don't prefer the redesigns, but I think they look perfectly fine. So this boss dies in like five seconds because Chaos puts up that shield, but if you just glide into him, then you'll hit him the very frame that shield goes down. Now when he goes into ball form, you just jump into him and he goes back to normal. God, Pariah, you're so hard on bosses. What's a good boss to you? A boss where you can't do that. Alright. Shovel Claw. I'm just a boss hater, bro. Uh, I guess I am. What if I went back in time to join development in Sonic 1? Uh, the only thing I would change maybe is I'd go, hey, maybe some of these levels that are like less speedy, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should make all the levels more like Starlight and Green Hill. I think that's the only change I would make. I'd also go, hey, check out this idea I have for this move called the Spin Dash. Red Mountain, also a good level as uh, Knuckles, because you play it com completely differently. Like, this is a really good job of the idea of having different play styles and playing the same level as different characters and getting a different experience. It's so well realized here. Like, it's the exact same level layout, but just by uh, having Knuckles' abilities, you can approach it in a totally different way. So we create a different game mode to facilitate that. Like, this is the the idea of Sonic Adventure done 
Uh, better than anything else in either of the two games, if you ask me. The hell is that thing? Around here somewhere. Down here? Aha! Around here? Oh, we got a hit. Is it... Over here? Right here. Alright, Hendister. Uh, thanks for dropping by for a minute. How much Japanese do I know? A very, very small amount. Less than a preschooler. Pato, shut up about Pizza Tower. Uh, what I consider momentum to be how an object with a certain mass is speed is affected by the sum of a force that affects it? I mean, I would consider momentum to be what momentum is. Subsonic Sparkle. That's basically all the Japanese you ever need to know. If you know that, then you can just go to Japan and just say that to everyone, and uh, you'll fit right in. Am I excited for Sonic and Shadow Makeout Generations? Uh, yeah, I am actually. I'm not expecting the most amazing thing ever from uh, Shadow Generations, but... I think it will probably be pretty fun. I am looking forward to it. First time I've looked forward to a 3D Sonic game. I guess actually it's not been that long because I was looking forward to Dream Team. Or I only knows enough Japanese to know when Itsundere is talking to him. I mean, you don't even need to know the words. You just need to know the inflection. If you're nice to her, and then she's just mean to you for no reason, and it makes no sense, you got a tsundere on your hands. Thankfully, Knuckles does not have to do another stupid plane level. Uh, what do we do at this point? I think now would be... we go here? Yeah, now we gotta do this crap. Yeah, I've played this game so much that I know how to stay on the treetops pretty well, too. I think it's right here, about... Yep. Is Knuckles a tsundere? Uh, kind of a little bit in how he interacts with Rouge. But that's more so like he's a rough exterior character that doesn't know how to handle these emotions that he's feeling because he's so socially awkward. Raya has his whole fan base on this stream. I'm not looking right now because I got OBS up uh, and it doesn't show me how many people are in the stream right now. How many people are watching? Because I, I do not know. I cannot see. Why is this game so unpolished? Because it was made in, like, 11 months or something? Nine months, I think? Okay, thank you, everyone. <laughs> only, uh, only one person needed to respond, but I appreciate it. Everyone wanted to be the one that I saw. It was over 300 at a point? Yeah, people were saying that. Which is really cool. People are excited for Shadow Generations. I was reading the chat the entire time, like, basically muscle memorying, collecting the, uh, the fighting gloves, and I, I don't think- Oh no! You do use them. Just like Sonic, they do double damage to Chaos 6 for some reason.
I have two mil watching right now. Uh, I feel like you're lying to me. I feel like that's not a true thing. Camera? Camera's having a, a, a rough time right now. Do it. Pfft. Camera? Okay, let's go on this wall. A camera likes this wall more. I should try SA2 Randomizer. I've never played uh, any of the Sonic Randomizers. I think this game has, uh, has a Randomizer too, right? Maybe I'll do that uh, one day. Why is Chaos a water monster? Uh, besides Sonic Team wanting to show off their simulation and transparency in Dreamcast? I mean, that is the reason. If you're looking for an in-universe logical reason, uh... I don't know. Because reasons. Oh, shit. Did the game just crash? Hold on. What the hell just happened? Yep, the game crashed. Damn you, Sonic Adventure PC port. Sorry about that. We're back. We're back in. No, wait, not trial. Back to adventure. That's what I get for skipping the cutscenes. Too much speed. Okay, there we go. It didn't crash this time, arbitrarily. It wanted to be nice. Yosh! Igze! Yeah, I love everyone's little, like, uh, phrases that they say. And of course, Sonic's English. Let's get them! What? Bro, really just momentum through a cutscene? True, I had so much momentum that I broke through the game's code. His English gets better with each game. I would say it's pretty consistent overall. I just like Sonic's English. Have I heard about Sonic X Shadow Generations? It's a very unknown thing. Believe it or not, I did. I generally like to try to stay on the ball with those uh, Sonic the Hedgehog things. I have to reset my speedrun. Uh, fortunately, I'm not doing a speedrun. I'm just playing a video game. Uh, where do I go from here? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I go to the pool. Because transforming the shape of the ship drains the pool for reasons. And then they put this cutscene here because kids were probably stuck on this part forever. So they're like, you're on the right track. You found it, kid. Congratulations. All right, generally, I just like to take a crap shoot and just put it in a direction. Uh, we'll put it in this direction so I can glide further. Of course, with this direction, getting back is gonna be a bitch. Fuck, and I have to get back. Have I ever considered speedrunning Sonic officially? Uh, no, I don't, I'm not really interested in speedrunning. Takes too much time. I like to play different games. What I could do is I could do like multi-game speedruns better than most people, I think. Because speedrunners are very like singular game focused. Like if I was going to do a marathon of like five different Sonic games of different play styles, I could probably do that faster than most speedrunners could. Uh, 
Those are both down there, aren't they? They are. Okay, we're gonna have to switch it. Talk is cheap. Uh, well, I was actually talking with Stelmo not too long ago about maybe racing him in a, in a game at some point. So uh, maybe I'll put my money where my mouth is. You think I could beat a speedrunner in a multi-sonic game race? Depends who the speedrunner is and depends what the games are. I got that away? Yes, that away. Oh yeah, Indigo Rush. Uh, I've always liked that as well. The idea that the reason that the stage is shifting around in Sonic's playthrough is because Knuckles is here at the same time and he's uh, doing his thing. Yeah, I definitely think that's supposed to be the implication. What games am I fastest out? Uh, probably Cloud Built. I have uh, a couple of top 10 times in uh, both Cloud Built games. And not that many people play that game, so I'm probably one of the best Cloud Built players in the world. Which is cool. But again, it's just because there's so few people to play. There are two Cloud Built games. Yeah, there's Cloud Built and then the Enhanced Remake Super Cloud Built, which is no longer available, sadly. But it'll come back eventually. Would I say that Cloud Built is better than every Sonic game? Uh, I like it a lot more, personally. Cloud Built is one of my favorite 3D platformers of all time. Okay, Knuckles, get off of him. Jesus, man. Knuckles' bio for this game says he's supposed to be cunning. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at Sonic 3 and Knuckles, he has a bunch of traps set up on Angel Island. Alright, that's Knuckles down. So now we've gotten through all the fun parts of the game. Now it's time for the rest. I'm gonna take a minute, take a drink. All right. Probably the worst campaign in the game. Yeah, hydrate. Yeah, people keep on uh, getting on my case about uh, not hydrating enough on stream. I'm usually pretty good about that, but I forget when I'm talking to chat and playing a game. So I'm trying to be more conscious about it. <laughs> my voice also gets hoarse when I talk for hours on end. You like the Amy campaign? The problem with the Amy campaign, especially if you watch the cutscenes, is that playing the levels is only one third of the playtime. Half of it is just running around in the hub world because she's so slow, and the other half of it is cutscenes because her campaign is so short that you'd spend more time watching cutscenes than actually playing a game. Uh, my Sonic Rider story stuff going along nicely. Uh, yeah, it's still coming along. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer before I upload that video. Uh, I, I look forward to seeing what people have to say about it. Not that many people watched my uh, Colors Rewrite video, but it got really positive reception from the people that did watch it. So I definitely want to do a little bit more of uh, kind of story time, pitching my own ideas for Sonic stories. Not just, like, pitching ideas, but, like, breaking down the themes and the concepts and the structure and what it would be. And the creative choices behind it and all that. It's fun. It's very fun. 
Amy, uh, you really want to be in the air with her as much as possible, because she accelerates faster in the air, and I think she just moves faster in the air. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think that's the case. You're probably supposed to jump over those, but you can just, you can just go next, you can just go to the side. Let's see if I can do this in one clean sequence. Nope, fucked it up. I fucked it up. Everyone shame me. Everyone point and laugh. I fucked it up. I'm sorry, everyone. Am I gonna stream Sonic Riders at some point? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. There you go. Now everyone's shaming me. Good. Good. You're all very easy to influence. Welcome to Tinku Park. Thoughts on Sonic Riders reboot? I don't really think it needs a reboot, it just needs a new game. Alright, time for literally the best gameplay in Amy's campaign. It's not even a joke. Whoops. Shit. You gotta be careful, because it's that easy to accidentally hit even things that are, like, behind you. There you go. Why don't I just spin? Wait, I don't have the spin yet. Also, the spin isn't really useful for this because the hitbox is not large enough. Also, you don't want to hit everything because the Eggmans are minus points. All right, we got the Warrior's Feather, which is completely useless. Can I give my thoughts on Superstars? People seem to dislike it. I like Superstars. I think it's fun. Bosses are fucking terrible. Uh, and the special stages are not great, but, uh, I enjoy the game. Dark Ghost win. One more thing in a new Riders game. Uh, I brought it up on the last stream. I literally had the idea while talking to chat. City Trial from Kirby Air Ride, but with Sonic Riders. It's so doable. You could make that happen, and it would be amazing. Oops. Yeah, you don't need the water. Wish they made a hand-drawn 2D Sonic game, as do I. Maybe one day. Why didn't I get the green hammer? You can't get that yet. Uh, you can only get that after the egg carrier has been crashed. Should I get that? It's completely useless and is really a waste of time. Because I have to walk all the way back to the egg carrier, back to the minigame, and then all the way off the egg carrier. It's really not worth it. Is, is chat going to make me get it? They're going to make me get it. Yeah, how many of you knows of those Amy strats? That's some cool stuff, too. I've played this game way too fucking much in my life. I wish across uh, the GameCube, uh, Dreamcast, and the PC version, I would love to know how many hours I've accumulated on the Sonic Adventure games, because it's way too much. Yeah, everyone's gonna make me get it. All right, Fine, I'll get the stupid hammer. It's completely useless. Let's make the Amy part take even longer. Now I need to do Chow? I refuse. 
I will never be influenced to do Chow. Fuck that. Unless, you know what would actually be cool? If I could organize, like, eight other Sonic tubers to do it. No one else would do it because it would take a lot of time and work and no one wants to fucking do it. But imagine if we could get, like, a Chow competition going where you get, like, I don't know, one month to make the best Chow you possibly can in Sonic Adventure 2. And then we all put them together in one uh, game and have them all race. And do a karate tournament. That would be a cool idea, but then I'd have to actually do it. And I'm not gonna do that. The Slurper, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, I should go to sleep, see ya. Have a good night's sleep. Thank you for uh, hanging around. That sounds cool, I should do that. The problem is, even I don't want to do that, because I don't want to do Chow. Is that even possible? But what you'd have to do, Dreamcast, is you'd have to, like, everyone would have to report what their Chow stats are, and then you just have to use Chow Editor to recreate everyone's Chow in a single ga in a single game. This one's really fucked up. As a kid, I got stuck here forever because they plopped you out here, so you think you have to go here, but no. You actually have to go through here. Why don't you just plop me out in this part of the area? It's mean. It's mean and stupid and bad. Are glitches and exploits allowed? I would say no. It has to be pure vanilla Chow Garden. Which, of course, there'd be no way to verify if people actually did that, but it's the sport of it. Just don't be shitty. The thing is, people could still have, like, dramatically better chow than other people. Because someone might go really hard on it, and then possibly me would be like, Yeah, I didn't want to do it because chow sucks, so I only did it for, like, two hours. I'd be the most likely to cheat. I would definitely not cheat. I would just not put in a lot of time. Alright, let's go get the stupid long hammer. When am I reviewing Space Jam 2? Uh, sometime after the heat death of the universe. Uh, but that's gonna be a while. Oh yeah, I have the mod to play the, uh, the music here that normally doesn't play on the Crash Death Egg. This music was probably intended to play during Crash Death Egg, but they didn't for whatever reason. Has my opinion on a Sonic game changed after review? No, not really. Uh, I mean, why would it? I haven't gone back to play any of those games very much, really. I already got the score necessary to get this thing. They're just making me do it again. That's the pro tip on how you do this well. Don't actually, like, react to what the thing is and then press the button. Just the moment you hear uh, something pop up, hit the button, and then take the time during the startup of the animation to identify what it is. And either point yourself toward or away from it so you don't hit the Eggmans. I've even got the advanced tech for this stupid game. Thoughts on a hat in time? I love a hat in time. One of my favorite 3D platformer collectathons ever. There we go, I got the fucking long hammer. Thoughts on Sonic X? I like Sonic X. It's got some problems, but I enjoy it. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm not getting all of the big upgrades. That takes too fucking long. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Fuck you all. Uh, was it? No, it's down here. By the way, this is some more evidence of the uh, last minute character design changes. Why do you think the long hammer has this color scheme of the green and purple? Because it was gonna complement Amy's original color scheme. Wrong boat. 
Oh, I'll get the belt upgrade, but getting all the fishing rod upgrades, that shit takes forever! Because Big is so fucking slow! Uh, Mohammed, I think that level to level is better for Sonic. It's better for the story more than anything. I think having a hub world you return back to a lot is very limiting on what you can do with storytelling. Yeah, well, Blue Star, you know how it is. Uh, it's a thing in everything, not just Sonic. Just, like, everything suffers from character power creep. Where everyone goes from just being, like, some random person to being the greatest, strongest, most powerfulest, most legendary heroes ever. You know, Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. He's just a regular guy, and then he becomes a Jedi and saves the day. And then post-Return of the Jedi, he's not just a Jedi, no, he's the most powerful Jedi that's ever lived! And the greatest, the Grand Master of the Jedi Order that's ever been, and it's like, why? Why, is, why do we gotta do this? You prefer Amy being Sonic Stalker rather than his buddy? It's at least unique and has a different dynamic. That is definitely a big criticism I have for just all of Sonic in general these days. Everyone is just friends. Everyone is generically friends with everybody. Like, there's no dynamism to any of the relationships anymore. Like, Sonic and Knuckles barely really rib each other very much. Tails and Sonic don't seem to really particularly have a much stronger bond than any other characters. Everyone's just everyone's friends. Yeah, they're all homogenized, exactly. I should watch JoJo. It's really just never interested me, to be honest. I'm not really big into, like, shonen action stuff these days. Oops, I was uh, scratching my fingers, so I didn't, uh, I didn't have my hand on the buttons. Am I hyped for Uncharted 5? Is there an Uncharted 5? Well, considering that I don't like any Uncharted game, no. Oh yeah, this part really does not work for, uh, having free cam, because I can just see which way is the way to go. It's the way that doesn't have an enemy. Oh, really? I guess not. I guess they teleport you to random places. I forgot. Yeah, there you go. That's weird. Uncharted 2 is pretty rad. I only played Uncharted 1, and it was terrible. I hated that game. Kill a Chow on stream? I mean, you can't kill a Chow. You can only send them away to the forest where they're going to be happy forever. Which is code for sending them to the slaughterhouse, of course. You can kill them in SA1? I don't even know, because I just never do Chow. They turn into an egg and die? Oh yeah, you mean just like chow deaths? I thought you meant like there's something I can do to kill a chow. <laughs> the only good Jojo Hark is God Hand for the PS2. God Hand is pretty sick. Oh, if you spin dash into a chow a bunch, it'll go into an egg and die. I didn't know that. 
Will I ever play a Wolfenstein game? Uh, they don't particularly interest me much. Maybe. All right, back to the egg carrier. You can actually achieve a total, a total Chow extinction in Sonic Adventure on Dreamcast? Yeah, because there's no black market, right? So if you just destroy all the Chow eggs uh, through shit like that, yeah, it's just, you're done. All right, it's time for another Pariah You're Too Hard on Bosses fight. Are we all ready? Are we all excited? Have I played Doom? I played Doom 2016. I have not gotten around to Eternal yet. There you go. There you go. Man, this guy just hates all bosses. So will I kill a Chow on stream? No. We've already been going for two hours. We still got Big and Gamma to do, and then I got all of SA2. I need to get through this stuff. I just hate video games? It's true. I just hate video games. Uh... let us go I'm playing the whole thing, both games. Yeah, I mean, I can beat both games in about two hours each, so... My streams are normally about four hours long. I forget, in the Dreamcast version of the game, did you push this box or no? Is that just like a cut thing that was supposed to be there? I, I do not remember in the Dreamcast version if you actually pushed the box. Because this is clearly supposed to be a box puzzle that was cut from the game, I think. Or it was in the Dreamcast version and cut from DX. Uh, thoughts on uh, Sonic Makes Out with Shadow Generations? Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, hesitant about the story, but I think the game will probably be pretty fun. Alright, are we all ready for the nightmare of Big's gameplay? It's so awful. It's unplayable. Alright, well, I gotta do that again. Didn't throw far enough. The box was removed before launch. Children must have had uh, trouble uh, figuring it out. I mean, it is awful, you're not wrong. But it also takes 10 seconds to do. Such misery. Such pain. <laughs> I mean, have y'all ever played fishing in Ocarina of Time? That is some miserable shit. That sucks. Welcome to Pikupa. Please buy Sega Bass Fishing the game. Uh, I don't even know. I assume there was a Sega Bass Fishing on Dreamcast. Did it come with, like, a fishing controller? What's Misery is doing the A missions, yes. That is Misery. Fortunately, Froggy is a bitch, so he's very easy to catch. Majora's Mask 3D has uh, fishing. They added some uh, fishing holes in that version of the game, and I've never played any of them because fishing. The A missions? Yeah, in DX they added missions. There's the C, B, and A missions. Uh, to complete the game with 50, complete the level of 50 rings and then complete it in under a certain time. Or in Big's case, uh, catch a fish of a certain size and it is a nightmare. That's a DX edition. Oh, they were in the DC version too? Oh, I thought that was added in DX. Ah, 
I haven't played DX since the GameCube came out. Alright. See, now with the Life Belt, you can get really close to Froggy and catch him even faster, which is nice. Come on, you bitch. Oh, wrong way. And there you go. Will I play 06? Uh, not the Chaos, ver Chaos X version? Uh, no. Probably not. I will probably play P06 on stream at some point, but not normal 06, I don't think. There's just no reason to play normal 06 these days. Why? The voice saying Kita sounds like Eggman, not big. No, it's definitely Big's voice actor doing it. Uh, what do I do at this point? What's Big's third level? I don't even fucking remember. Do I go to the final egg now? Oh yeah, it's final egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, it's Emerald Coast. I am forgetting. Final egg is his last level. Fake Sonic fan? Look, I can't remember everything. Also, I'm reading chat. Blame chat. Any mistakes I make is chat's fault. Always. Oh yeah, it's not final egg the big does. It's uh what's it called? What's that level called? Hot shelter. That's it. John's counter 276. We can't be up to that already. We just started that counter like last stream. <laughs> Am I going to be reviewing P06 in replacement of normal 06 for Sonic was always good? Uh Mikiden. I've already reviewed both. You're a little behind the times, buddy. A little different than when the Game Grumps played it. A little different. Well, Laura, they're not my mistakes. That That's the thing. That's the key. What do I think about Wii Play Fishing? I have never played it. Uh, thoughts on the Generations? Uh, I'm looking forward to Shadow Generations. I think it looks fun. Don't really care about the Sonic Generations part of it, because I already have Sonic Generations. And they're probably going to fuck up the remaster, because it's a Sonic remaster. Right, I believe Froggy spawns around about here. Right there. Come on, you bitch. Oops, wrong way. There we go. You motherfucker, get back here. Listen to me when I'm talking to you with my lore. Notice me, senpai. There we go. Would I fish with Big? You know, I actually went fishing as a kid a couple of times. Uh... 
I don't know if I really think it's that fun to do. Maybe I knew of this port? Uh, no. All coincidence. I said senpai with an M? Uh, I didn't mean to if I did. There's no time attack mode for fishing. I mean, isn't that basically what I'm doing with how quickly I'm beating these levels? Let's talk to Big about politics. Uh, I don't think Big knows what politics is. That's not even a joke. That's probably accurate to his character. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Sonic didn't know what politics were. Alright, will I be able to beat this boss in four seconds? Place your bets, everybody. I'm gonna go for the quick kill. We got the pro strats. Damn it. Nope. I didn't get it. There we go. Got it. Three tries. Yosh. Weird that they make you walk one foot to trigger the next cutscene there. Have I watched DBZ Abridged? Uh, yeah, DBZ Abridged is hilarious. Alright, all that's left is Gamma. Big Story is so short for how hated it is? Yeah, I mean, if you know how to do it, Big Story is nothing. Uh... SAO abridged? I have not watched that. So here's a cool thing. I have a mod on that changes how much starting time you have as Gamma. So instead of starting with, like, two minutes for no reason, I start with 20 seconds. So I have to actually shoot things to have enough time to complete the levels. The mod lets you configure how much starting time you want. I set it to 20 seconds. <laughs> Frickerific, I genuinely recommend people watch DBZ Abridged instead of actual DBZ. It's way faster and funnier, and it also is, like, very true to DBZ. Like, the characters are still pretty much the same characters. It's just filled with jokes. Now, that was a boss fight right there. In fact, that boss was so good, I could easily see myself doing that three more times and having a good time with it. Maybe OGZ, but Kai is pretty well paced. I've never watched Kai. I don't really care to. Am I going to play DBZ Sparking Zero? No, no interest. I'm not really a Dragon Ball fan at all. I watched it when I was younger, uh, but nowadays I really don't care. Just watch One Piece? I mean, I'm not really a One Piece fan anymore, either. I haven't watched One Piece in... forever. I don't even know how many years. Am I a Hunter Hunter fan? No, never watched Hunter Hunter. I'm not really into shonen action anime. Not my thing. Or watch Avatar like a real one? I've watched Avatar. Avatar is fantastic. Why I don't like him turning into a car? What? 
You mean like Gamma when he shrinks? I, I have no problem with that. Shaman King is the actual goat? I've never watched Shaman King. Uh, yeah, I gotta go here. Am I a rom-com man? Yes, I am, actually. I do like romance anime. Which Sonic game did I start using Japanese voices in? Uh, Sonic Unleashed was the first game that I uh, played in Japanese. Uh, I think this is the wrong room, yeah. Recommend some rom-coms. Uh, okay, well, a rom-com that forgets that it's supposed to have rom in it, I would recommend Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. Uh, it's just a hilarious show in the guise of a rom-com. It's just a pure comedy, and it's quite funny. Expecting Snafu. Uh, Snafu is very, very good, but I, I don't like that for it being a rom-com. I like that because of the uh, character drama, which is very real for me, very relatable to things I've dealt with in the past. But Jason is such a good VA prior, so is Junichi. Is Samurai Shampoo a shonen? Uh, I wouldn't say so. It's more like a seinen kind of deal. Uh, but I didn't really like it. I only watched a handful of episodes and then I got bored. Have I watched Azumanga Daio? Not yet, but I want to. Yeah, I'm kind of with you there, Indigo. I wouldn't say I can't stand it, but his inflections, the way he speaks with Sonic, is uh, very verbose and kind of weird sounding. Karakano? Never watched Karakano, but I've heard good things about it. Ever watch Boongo Stray Dogs? Uh, no. I've heard of it. I'm familiar with it a little bit, but I've not watched it. If I'm a Hideaki Anno fan, I'd probably dig it. I wouldn't really say I'm a Hideaki Anno fan. The only thing I've watched from him that I liked was Shin Godzilla. I did not like Evangelion. Watch Lupin yet? Nope, I haven't had the time. Also, there's other stuff I've been watching instead. I'm just not really in the mood at the moment. Uh, what is Shonen in that? Uh, shonen just means a target demographic, 8 Billy. Shonen means that something is targeted towards young boys. The word Shonen in, J in Japanese means just like a boy. Uh, so if it's a shonen show, it's meant to target young boys. Everybody likes Evangelion? I did not like Evangelion. You thought it meant just young? No, it does not mean just young. Uh, the equivalent for girls would be shoujo. You don't like Ava either, Grim Jim? Uh, I liked Ava for a while. Uh, for like the first half of the show, uh, I enjoyed it. But towards the second half, I really started to lose interest. And then it started to go off the rails in a way I did not like whatsoever. And uh, I did watch End of Evangelion. And it didn't really make the ending that much better for me. I mean, it's ultimately still kind of saying the same thing, just in a way that's not fucking atrocious, like the original ending. But uh, I still didn't really 
care for it too much. Also, because I watched it back to back with the original ending, I was just like, yeah, it's like the same thing again, mostly. Am I big on Studio Gainax stuff in general? Uh, really the only thing by then that I've watched that I liked was Gurren Lagann. I want to try watching, uh, Gunbuster, because it's like the original, uh, you know, Gurren Lagann. It's what led to all of the, like, big, crazy, over-the-top, cosmic, uh, arm-cross awesomeness of, uh, you know, Trigger and everything. And Bayonetta and Platinum Games. It all comes from Gunbuster, so just for its historical value, I want to try watching it. Opinions on Shinichiro Watanabe? I don't know the name off the top of my head, but I might have watched something that uh, he's done. But played Astral Chain? Not yet. Uh, would be shocked if I haven't watched Ranma or Utena. Uh, I have not watched either of those, actually. Neither have I watched Initial D. What's up with, uh, Japan's fascination with the word buster? It's cool! That's what. Ever watched Hokuto no Ken? Nope, never watched it. Have I watched Clanad? Yes, I have liked- I have watched Clanad. Very much like that. Obviously, of course, after story is, uh, where the real good shit happens. Clanad was my introduction to Key, and I've, uh, watched and read many a Key thing since then. Anybody watch Charlotte by Key? God, that was fucking terrible. Only anime to make you cry, Frank Sharps? Oh, <laughs> there are plenty of animes that'll make you cry just as much as Clannad. Many of them by the same people. <laughs> Charlotte is awful. Charlotte was hilarious. I mean, it was kind of, like, uh, impressive how bad it was, in a way. I was quite stunned by what I was watching. Alright, Harry. Uh, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Charlotte the anime? You didn't like the ending? I didn't like the anything in Charlotte. Do I like any MCU movies? Uh, you know, I liked them back in the day, but over time I was like, okay, I'm done watching the same movie 25 times in a row. Kaiji? I am not familiar with Kaiji. I've been very out of the anime loop for a long time, to be honest, so I don't really know any more recent things. The most recent show I've watched was, uh, Promised Neverland. IG is pretty old, and I'm just not familiar with it. Hoseki no Kuni? Uh, not familiar. Welcome back, Gesukai. Did I watch Teen Titans as a kid? Fuck yeah, I did. And I watched it, uh, later on, after the fact. Uh, Teen Titans is so fucking good. Thanks, Harry. Same to you. Promise Neverland anime is bad. Promise Neverland is great for the first season, and then you just stop. And then you just pretend that that's the end of the show. You're much better off that way. Teen Titans Go? Never watch Teen Titans Go. Read the manga? Honestly, I'm good. I'm just not interested in the direction the series goes in. Thoughts on Sailor Moon? Never really watched it. Oh god, we're running out of time. I gotta shoot things! I gotta shoot things! Oh, 
Also, yeah, if you get on the train early, it'll just, like, launch you to the front. Sailor Moon is so good. Yeah, I just never watched it. I mean, I'm not a young girl, so uh, it doesn't really appeal to me that much. Did I hear that Spice and Wolf is getting a new anime adaptation? I did. That is very cool. Uh, I might watch it. I don't know. I, I feel very satisfied having read the light novels. Also, the original anime is perfectly good. It really doesn't need a remake. It just needs to be continued. You know what? Let's kill all these things uh, for the time. I mean, the boss doesn't take long. I'm probably fine, but let's do it anyway. Gesekai, I'm sorry, but I was playing a game, so I completely missed your entire argument of why you think Sailor Moon is for men and women. Uh, Monogatari, uh, only watched a little bit of Bakemonogatari, and I was really not feeling it. I do not like Shaft as a studio in general. I don't like how they do things, uh, so it wasn't really for me. I've watched Gravity Falls, watched a couple episodes, seemed fine, but, uh, didn't really grab me too much. Did I cry at the end of Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye? No, but I did cry at the end of Outer Wilds just in general. Do you love Shaft, Subsonic Sparkle? I, I do not like Shaft. Shaft has a hot habit of saying, uh, just like, who cares about the story? Does not matter. We're just gonna do weird things and have weird visuals and put them on screen and... You know, I guess there's a story we're also trying to tell, but that's not really important. <laughs> that's the vibe I get from a lot of Shaft shows. Oh, you've been watching Sonic X in Japanese and have opened your eyes to the characterization? Uh, yeah. I mean, the characterization of the characters in Sonic X is just basically the same as the game versions. They're really the same characters, which is part of the reason I like it. This song is very, uh, old-school Sega Sonic Team stuff. This song screams, this was going to be a Sega Saturn game. You know what's great about this game? Because I know it so friggin' well, and you barely do anything in a lot of the gameplay, I can play the game and read chat at the same time, no problem. Uh, worst Japanese Sonic writer? Uh... Whoever wrote the, uh... I mean, I guess I'd probably say Eitoro Toyota. But he's only ever done the, uh... The, the Sonic Channel stories, which I didn't think were very good. Time for Super Sonic. Who is the best non-Eggman villains in Sonic? Obviously the Deadly Six. Come on, is that even a question? Thoughts on Gamma's story? Uh, it's good. It is good. The storytelling is of course flawed because it uses Sonic Adventure cutscenes. But it's good. Best story in the game? Uh, Gamma story? Oh, oh, 
Apparently, the animators on Avatar are forced to watch FLCL before being allowed to work on the show. Uh, okay. I guess you can see that, can't you? It does kind of come through in uh, how an uh, how Avatar is animated a little bit. That's interesting. That does check out. Context code. Uh, Unleashed has my favorite Sonic. Um... Outside of that, I don't know. A lot of the characters are mostly okay in most things. Except for the more recent stuff, of course. These graphics are not easy for Gen Z to swallow. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm just too much of old man, but, like, I don't even bat an eye when I look at a game that looks like this. Like, yes, it's old, but that, to me, is such, like, a non-thing. Unfortunate that, uh, this doesn't play throughout the entire boss fight. Bad choice by them. Bad choice. I see what they were going for. Really doesn't work. We need a mod for that? Yeah, someone should really make a mod that just plays Open Your Heart the entire time. There is a mod that, like, swaps the order of the music, but I don't really think that's ideal either. I just want to play Open Your Heart the whole time. People your age can't stomach games looking like this? I think it's fine. In fact, uh, maybe it's because I grew up with a Dreamcast. I find Dreamcast graphics to be extremely charming in how they look. That it's like an, a weird in-between, like N64, PS1 low poly graphics. It's much better looking than that, but it's still far below, you know, GameCube PS2 graphics when things could, like, really start to look nice. It's this very weird middle ground that's very specific to the Dreamcast, and I really like it. Like, now we're getting all these, like, PS1 and uh, N64-inspired games. Where are the Dreamcast-inspired games? That's what I want to see. We can recover from this. This game is a weird property on Supersonic, where as you're descending through the air, you just gain a ton of speed. Well, there you go, there's Sonic Adventure. What's my time? Was anyone keeping track of my time? Because I wasn't. But Pariah, bad graphics equals bad game to this gen? Unfortunately, yeah, that's kind of the case. Alright, uh, that is Sonic Adventure 1. Very flawed game, but very good game. Alright, give me a sec. I'm gonna take a bit of a break, drink some water, uh, talk amongst yourselves.
Okay, I'm back. Ah. Hope nobody was saying any swears. Y'all know how I feel about that. No swearing. File select. All right, let's do it. Story select. I am using the full story mod here, so we're going to be jumping back and forth between Hero and Dark, uh, playing all the characters and the whole story all in one go. Everyone swore? God. I knew I can't trust any of you. How's the volume? This game seems a little bit louder than, uh... SA1 was. Slightly louder. Should I lower it a bit? A little loud? Okay, I'll lower it a bit. Uh, Try that. See if that's good. How's that sound? Let me know. The lock-on sound is a bit grating. I have the sound fix mod, so it's not nearly as loud. Yes. SA2 is always loud. No, that's actually just a problem that was introduced in later versions of it. It was fine in the original game, and they fucked it up. But of course, modders fix the problems. Certainly much better than Gamma's levels from the previous game. Except for these parts. This is the part where you can really tell that they were going for, like, shmup shooting gallery type gameplay. But it's not nearly as fun because of the shooting system here. If they made modern mech gameplay and it was, like, you know, third-person manually aimed shooting, that would probably be a lot better. Game could be ever so slightly quieter. Uh, should I lower it a little bit more? Anyone else have thoughts on that? Eh, yeah, beat the door. That's hard to do. Can I beat this one? No, you can beat that door too if you're really good. A little bit too loud? Okay, I will lower it a little bit more. All right. That might have been a little too much. We'll see. Let me know. Uh, far too Sega for you. Yeah, it is like a, so a Sega game, but it's not like a Sonic yes. game. That's perfect? Okay. Do we have any other opinions on that? Fine. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, the new translation mod even has subtitles for those, which is cool. What's my favorite portrayal of Super Sonic? Uh, I like him when he has the, the shadow spikes. I think those look cooler than uh, when they just stick straight up. Oh shit, I forgot. I forgot you can get an instant hit right there. Wow, this is a really bad flying dog. Reset the run. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay. Someone got that for me. Thank you. Uh, please ban that person. Uh, 
Do I even have any mods in here? Thank you. Are we speedrunning? Nope. Just playing the game. You see us here? Okay, I didn't know if they were still here or not. Okay, good. Thank you, Hisia. Much appreciated. Yeah. Collision breaking a little on those stairs. Are the SA2 mods I'm using on the spreadsheet? Yes, everything is on the spreadsheet. I just updated it today, actually, to make sure I had everything for the SA games up to date. Uh, what mod has the trial shoes? It's the Dreamcast characters model. You can also pick the trial uh, model for Sonic. Was that other prior? Did the, let's just not. Let's not encourage them. Very iconic. Maybe a bit blasphemous to say, but I don't think the gameplay is actually that great, though. And I, uh, I prefer the Frontiers version of this level. And I'm not bothering with that A-A ranks, by the way. I'm just trying to beat the levels as fast as I can. So, I'm gonna be running past a lot of shit. Deal with it. Do I also prefer the Generations version of this level? Well, yeah, obviously, but that's a completely different level. Do I like SA2 more than CD? Uh, yeah. So we're time attacking? I mean, no, time attack, I'd be playing the same level multiple times, trying to get as the fastest time I can. I'm just playing the game. I just play fast. That's just how I do things. I have a mod translating the catchphrase. The translation mod translates a lot of the dialogue that normally doesn't even have subtitles, like the end-of-level completion noises, some of the in-level dialogue. It all gets subtitles with this mod. Very cool. Oh, this is a chronological order mod? Yeah, the full story mod. Um, not only do I think it improves the story pacing, I also think it kind of improves the gameplay pacing. You don't get that part in Hero Story where you have to play, like, nine uh, non-Sonic levels in a row before you get to uh, Pyramid Cave. The levels are, I feel, have a better spread of the different play styles. You should try this mod at some point. I definitely recommend it. When you play with this mod, you're like, wow, the story works infinitely better when it's one thing. And you can see that, okay, it was clearly supposed to be this way. I mean, sort of. It was definitely also kind of written to be split up. It's really weird. It's really weird. But I think it works better like this. Am I playing with Eggman right after Sonic? I was just talking about it. I'm using the full story mod, which combines Hero and Dark Story together into one playthrough. Makes the story way better. Yes. 
Weren't the only playable characters supposed to be Sonic, Nux, and Eggman? Uh, no. That was never a thing. I don't know where any of that idea came from, but no. I will guarantee you that was never the idea. Ah, shit. That's what I get for trying to play fast. I get punished for making mistakes. Oh, Jordan, if you want to try it out, it's in the spreadsheet. No, Tails was not a last-minute addition. That is definitely not the case at all whatsoever. I don't know why people think that. People can't understand the, the concept of not revealing everything about a game the moment it's announced. They just didn't show off Tails as a playable character early on. They showed it later. It was always going to be in the game. It's very clear. The very core premise of this game is good and bad rival characters opposing each other. There was always going to be the three sets of rivals. From the very inception of the game, I will guarantee you. Uh, where do you find my spreadsheet? Uh, I link to it in pretty much every Sonic Was Always Good video. Um, it's still linked on my Twitter if you want to go there. That's basically all that's good for anymore. I am 100% certain. I don't even need any dev interviews or anything. You can just look at Sonic Adventure 2 and what the game is, and you can clearly tell that the very beginning idea when they're like, let's make another Sonic Adventure, what are we putting on the whiteboard? It was Rivals 3v3. That was like the first thing that came, I'm almost certain. What happened to my Twitter? I left Twitter because it's a cesspool. Do I have the... Oh, yeah, I have the bounce bracelet of Shadow. Yeah, I have that on. Cool. He just gets it. Right, check out this shit. You need the light speed dash. Oh wait, you don't. It's still Sonic Adventure at the end of the day. Is this on Redream? No, this is the PC version. Uh, you see clips of my videos on Twitter without context almost every day, Subsonic Sparkle? Yeah, that's annoying. That That's an annoying thing. I mean, that is not, like, the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that everyone's a giant dickhead on Twitter. And I just don't need that in my life. I just don't need that. It's not gonna make my life any better to see all that shit. So I'm just gonna not. off Twitter is admirable. I wouldn't really call it admirable. I would just call it the correct thing to do for your mental health. I'm a cool YouTuber. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Back. I've been trying to focus more on the, uh, the positivity and uh, the fact that I do have a bunch of cool fans like y'all. 
that like my stuff and like hanging out and appreciate what I do. And fuck everyone else. <laughs> You know, it's easy for uh, compliments to just uh, wash off someone and then you focus on the negativity. Uh, but really, that's a mentality thing. If you have the right mentality, it becomes easier to ignore the neg negativity and focus on the positive. <laughs> if I press say the frame I get on those bars, you do a perfect jump instantly? Really? I did not know that. Uh, Zack, I would not expect uh, Shadow Generations to play anything like Generations. Fuck! My spin dash got fucked up there. I don't know what happened. Fucked up both of these fights, man. Not cool. At least I got that. One of your favorite YouTubers ever. Thank you very much. I do get a lot of uh, really nice compliments from people, and I do appreciate it a lot. And thank you all so much for just uh, hanging out and uh, liking my stuff. I do have the mod on that uh, gives this the SA-1 radar. Because that makes the game better. Around here? Yes. Oh no, the Knuckles levels? The Knuckles levels are significantly improved with the SA-1 radar. Where did I get the idea for the censored rings joke? It came from the coins joke. I was planning to end that with the heroes video. Then people were like, no, keep it going. And I was like, okay, well, I got to keep it going somehow. Uh, so then I was like, all right, I'm going to call him a different thing in every game. And I was like, what do I call him in Shadow the Hedgehog? I'll just put a censor bleep on it because all the swearing in the game is funny. Thoughts on the Knuckles wraps? They're fine. No problem with them. I actually really like how this game has, uh, like a unique style of music for every character. All their levels have, uh, similar sounding music, uh, and I think it's really cool. It gives a strong, like, identity to each character while you're playing as them. The thing I definitely appreciate a lot about SA2, more so these days, is that this game really had a very strong vision of what they wanted it to be and what they wanted it to do. And it's not always exactly successful, but the heart and the the attempt really does come through very strongly. What the heck is this? Is it under here? Is it that? Yeah, it's that one there. No, turtle, get back here, you motherfucker. I'm gonna have to get that one later. I mean, other Sonic games have soul and style too, but I feel like this game is like extremely strong in that particular respect. Uh, more so than a lot of other Sonic games. Come on. Uh, do I have the physics swap mod? No, I normally play with it, but I figured I would go uh, vanilla for this playthrough. Though I don't give the mech characters Gamma's gameplay, because that's like really game-breaking. I normally give the mech characters the Chow Walker gameplay for the faster movement speed. And I normally give the treasure hunters to Call's gameplay, 
because Takal just runs and climbs faster. So that's just an improvement. Nice jiggle on the ears. Of course, sweet. Of course. Yes, you do get three treasure hunting stages in a row, but honestly, I think that's pretty okay, especially with the SA-1 radar. They're a lot more fun this way. And it kind of, like, introduces, like, okay, these two characters are in the story now. Uh, deal with it. Get used to it, motherfuckers, you know? So I kind of like this pacing for it. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta get the digging shit. Do I know how to dodge this beetle? Uh, you just ignore its existence. It really doesn't matter whatsoever. Where is it? In here? No. Ah. You stand in the shade. Oh yeah, I know that. But you just don't have to. You can just ignore the thing. Even if it hits you, it's no big deal at all. I have a mod on also that fixes Rouge's pick nails so they actually render correctly. Normally I have the, uh... I have no upgrade models, uh, activated. Because, uh, I don't like the characters being strapped with a bunch of bullshit that overcomplexifies their design for no reason. But I figure people like that stuff, so I'd leave it on for this. Was that Gamma? Yes. Uh, it's not Gamma Gamma, but it's an enemy type. E100 Gamma? I think it is. It was just like a mass-produced version of it or something. You hate how claustrophobic the pyramid levels are in this game? Yeah, the closed-off uh, interior treasure hunting levels are definitely weaker than the, uh, the big open ones. Ooh, uh, which version of It Doesn't Matter? I think I like the SA2 one more, but they're both really good. E1000? No, Zedgar. Isn't E1000 the, uh, the enemies in Sonic Heroes? The, like, bird yes. dudes? Or no, those are E10,000, I think. It might be E1000. You might be right. I don't remember. That's E2000? I thought it was E10,000 and 20,000. I don't remember my E series robots. That's a really nice detail in Sonic X in Season 1. Uh, the robots uh, are still E-series, but they're like E90-something. Uh, and the final one in the final episode of Season 1 is E99. So they were teasing that they were going to adapt Sonic Adventure uh, from the first season, which is pretty cool. Eggman versus Elon, who wins? Well, Elon Musk, as far as I know, doesn't have, like, a robot walker suit. So, I'm gonna give it to Eggman. Do I think Sega will fumble the new Shadow game? I don't think so. I think it'll be pretty fun. Well, I guess it depends. A lot of people don't like the cyberspace levels of Sonic Frontiers, and I expect it to be relatively similar to that. So maybe for a lot of people it will be a fumble, but I'll probably like it. Oh, I was thinking of the Tails level. The Eggman level, you just go forward here. I 
I'm still praying they don't delist the original. Uh, I think your god is failing you because they're definitely gonna delist the original. Yes. Finally a good Sonic game in recent times. I mean, I know a lot of people aren't big fans of it, but I think Superstars is a good game. You know, I've thought it would be really fun uh, to write a big story that's... What is he doing in Sonic Adventure 2? Yes. Like, coming up with uh, an, an explanation of how he ends up on the arc and how he... Uh, what he's doing in the background every time you see him. That he's on his own little random adventure. <laughs> Looking for Froggy, of course? That's too obvious. It's too easy. Let's give Big a new story, a new adventure to go on. Yes. You love more original story video from me? I got one in the works. It's coming, eventually. Has Big ever done anything that didn't involve Froggy? Uh, I don't know. What does he do in Team Sonic Racing? I literally don't know what that game's story is, and I don't care. Exactly, Hisa, yeah. There's so much potential there for what the fuck was Big doing? How did he get in this situation? I don't even know why I'm doing all this shit. I'm not going for A rank, so I'm just gonna fucking beat the game. Looking forward to big generations. I don't expect that to happen anytime soon. He just stumbled there on obliviousness, but the, what were the, like, events that led to big somehow getting in these situations? Like, what was the inciting incident? And where is he going? Why is he getting from place to place? You could come up with something there that would be fun. Zapoc <laughs> Generations confirmed. Trying to find fishing spots? No, no, that's too simple. The idea of Big's character is that he is someone that should not be going on a big epic hero adventure, but he somehow does. So we have to maintain that. But just doing the same thing again of just save Froggy? That's lame. We gotta do something new. That's a real fuck you. Yes. He's trying to find the One Piece. Yeah, I was thinking about One Piece uh, not too long ago. Is One Piece the longest story ever told? Like, they're a really long series, but they're usually, like, individual entries, and it'll be, like, you know, sequels and stuff like that. Or something like The Simpsons, like, every episode is its own self-contained thing. But One Piece has been one story continuing for, like, what, 15 years, and it's fucking gigantic? Peanuts is the longest story ever told, but again, Peanuts is just like self-isolated little one-off episodes. Pokemon anime is bigger, but Pokemon is each season is its own individual self-contained story.
Pokemon still has continuity somewhat? I don't even know. But, like, each Pokemon season of the anime is like its own self-contained production separate from everything else. One Piece is one story being written by one guy that's been going on for, like, 20 years or whatever. Wasn't big based off Yajirobe from DBZ? I don't know, I've never heard that, but I believe it. Jiva? I don't know what Jiva is. Each island on One Piece is its own story, though? But One Piece is, like, has story setups from the very fucking beginning of the series that still haven't been paid off. Like, it was all planned out. So it is like one big project that was th that was you know conceived as a gigantic thing that's just been continuing the entire time. Homestuck is probably longer. I don't know what Homestuck is. I've never heard of that. Was One Piece meant to be that long? Uh, I assume so. I'm pretty sure Oda has said in uh, interviews and stuff that uh, he would uh, that like he's finally getting towards like the final story arcs and he can finally pay off things that he's had planned since the very beginning. So I assume that yeah, it was always intended to have a lot of shit. Homestuck is a webcomic? Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with Homestuck. I've never really read any webcomics of any kind. What version is this? This is the PC version modded up to fuck. Will I ever review some Spider-Man games? Probably not. Big would try to do something normal, like return something from another character dropped and go on a big important quest. Yes, Dasper, that's the kind of energy that a big story needs. Now we're on track. I'm the luckiest man alive for not knowing what Homestuck is. I, okay. Do I have a script for my videos? Nope, none of my videos are scripted, never have been. Best level, baby! That's right, a level where you do very little. Mostly hold forward. Best level in the game. Every time I say this, people have a freak out. Yes, none of my videos are scripted. They never have been. It's just me talking. Not even bullet points. Camera? Camera having a difficult time there. SA2 level design is the worst in the series? I wouldn't say that. Sonic Lost World does exist. Also, uh, Generations 3DS. level is more fun when you try to go for the A rank? Uh, I personally find that this game is more fun if you just go for speed, even though it's not really designed for it. Well, guess Akai, it's not like it's all one go. There's a lot of pausing and stopping to think of what I'm gonna say and editing to make it all sound, like, clean and coherent. Hold forward simulator? That is correct. I'd realize how impressive it is if I heard how most unscripted YouTube content sounds. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't really watch a lot of other gaming YouTube, so I don't know what's scripted, what's not. I just do my thing. How do I talk hours on end, but still somewhat structure in what I say? Uh, I pause the recording and think about what I'm going to say next. <laughs> I, I plan through a little bit of what I want to say, like a general rough idea. It's all kept in my head. I'm just like, okay, I'll talk about this, and then I'll transition to that plot point or uh, that idea. And uh, then I just kind of go once I have like a bare bones skeleton of a story structure, or uh, I guess... Not story structure, presentation structure in my mind. Like basically a good uh, metaphor for how I make my videos is think of like level design by a professional level designer where they put all this time into like drawing up the level design and thinking it through like really far ahead and uh, you know, they know what they're doing, they're professionals. And I'm someone that's coming up with level design in Mario Maker there as I'm in the editor. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's me. That's how I do things. Where the hell is this thing? It's one of these, right? Just want to make sure before I change it. Yeah, it's one of those. But also aren't heavily edited. Uh... Yeah, I don't try to edit too much in my videos. Uh... Because I want to focus more on just what I'm saying, rather than, uh, like, fancy editing gags and stuff. Not opposed to it entirely, but just, uh, not my focus. Alright, where the hell was that? There it was. Nope. Oh, where was that? Here it was. When you play a Sonic game, you hear my voice uh, in your head. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry to have ruined Sonic for you. Generations had an editing gag? Yeah, like I said, I'm not opposed to doing it necessarily, but, uh... Not a lot. Okay, can we talk a little bit about, uh, this level and the five-minute time limit? Because people are always pissed off that Eggman says 15 minutes and then Rouge is like, five minutes should be plenty. And people are like, why can't I have a 15 minute time limit? But she's taking five minutes to get the emeralds. She then needs time to get off the island before it explodes. I think that's very sensible. Where the hell is this? Is it on the floor above? It might be on the floor above. I don't even know. Seems like it. In fact, the other 10 minutes are literally seen in the cutscene with the bomb. Yeah, and guess what? White jungle, the next level. You have 10 minutes on your timer. Yeah, it is one of these fuckers. Whenever you criticize a game, you hear my voice. I apologize. I've infected people with my snarky criticism. Star, I'm glad that you can look at things more critically, thanks to me. When you look at your Steam library, you think of my voice because of the Top 200 stream. That's a little weird. Uh, thanks, Mung. I appreciate that. Glad you like my stuff. I am doing well. 
Yeah, there's a new, uh, newer retranslation mod, Aorta, that uh, has pretty much all the dialogue translated, including gameplay and uh, level completion dialogue. Very cool. I guess, except for this. What game has the best boss introductions? Do you mean a Sonic game or just a video game? That's an important question. Taking a drink of water. Any game, Sonic or not? What has the best boss intros? Hmm. You know, Hi-Fi Rush has pretty good boss intros, I would say. Because the cutscenes in that game are just fucking amazing. How long was my content when I started? Uh, I think my first video was like 20-something minutes long. Not a, uh, not to be a Red Air, but Metal Gear Rising. You know, it's been a long time since I played Metal Gear Rising. I don't even remember the boss intros. Well, Eli, you gotta learn how it's done. Uh, once you are aware of it and you're uh, looking out for it, you can eventually learn the pacing and flow of Sonic levels, and you get much better at predicting passivity traps. Oops. Yeah. Goddamn auto freaking aim on that shit. DMC3? Uh, I don't think DMC3 has, like, particularly amazing boss intros, though. They're good, but plenty of other games have boss intros just as good. I mean, Souls games are uh, definitely contenders, right? Sekiro probably being their best boss intros, I would think. You love the track of White Jungle? As do I. It is fantastic. Finding of Isaac has good boss intros, does it? You mean the little, like, uh, thing that comes up that you skip every single time? Yes. What game has the best bosses? I mean, you're basically just asking me what game has the best combat. <laughs> Which, personally, my favorite combat in a game is DMC5. Hollow Knight also has very good bosses. Can't skip this one. But now it's the Japanese version, so everyone can't recite it. Fun fact, I believe that dialogue was originally intended for Sonic and Shadow's first encounter at the beginning of the game. You dislike how the upgrades ruin the character models? I agree, Blue Star. I normally use the mod that removes, uh, the upgrade things. But I figured let's throw it on for, uh, this playthrough. Strap all this bullshit to the characters. Ruin the simplistic elegance of their character designs. Hey, order Platinum, just get the mod. There's your fix right there. I'm using a retranslation mod law that does that. Yo, know, full story mod? Yep, playing with that. I think it improves the gameplay pacing just as much as the story pacing. 
getting to do uh, green forest right after white jungle is cool and fun. You gotta look up all these new mods. It's all in the spreadsheet, Aorta Platinum. I got you covered. Would I like them if they added more subtlety to the design? Uh... I don't know. I, I do kind of like the idea of characters getting, like, things that grant them different abilities. Uh... So yeah, maybe if they were just, like, if they looked more, like, natural and part of the character's design, rather than these big stupid things that they wear. I completely forgot to grab the light speed attack, but whatever. Never gonna use it anyway. Do I know the mod that removes pointless automation from the speed stages? Uh, no, I'm actually not familiar with that. Yes. How's my playthrough of the Sonic Adventure game has been going? Pretty good. Uh, my SA1 playthrough was pretty picturesque of a typical pariah Sonic Adventure playthrough. And so far, I'd say this has been as well. We need a Dreamcast conversion mod for SA2. We're getting there, uh, little by little, over time. More and more things are coming out to fix more problems and uh, restore more things. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. Uh, no, sorry, Letter S. I cannot... No you cannot pause during cutscenes. The The story pacing is very fast. Oh, they privated it? That would explain why I'm not familiar with it, Hesia. What about time attacking an A-rank playthrough of the levels? I mean, that's basically just doing an A-rank playthrough. Don't the speed levels in this game feel very fast? Yeah, they feel fast. Is there a mod to fix Amy's eyes? What do you mean, fix Amy's eyes? Are they broken? Thoughts on Pumpkin Hill music? Overrated. I mean, it's perfectly fine for Knuckles' theme music for this level. But I'm not like, oh shit, Pumpkin Hill. I mean, it's really just a meme, right? I'm overrated. Uh, some people probably would say that, yeah. Meteor Herd, though. Meteor Herd is definitely better than Pumpkin Hill, for sure. Favorite spooky zone slash level in a Sonic game? Uh, Hang Castle. Gotta be Hang Castle, right? It's clearly the best one. Huh? Yeah. Around here somewhere? Oh. What's my least favorite speed stage? Um... I don't know. Maybe Skyrail. I just don't really particularly love that level too much. Or City Escape, honestly. I don't hate Crazy Gadget. I think it's an okay level. Uh, there needs to be a spooky classic Sonic Zone. Uh, Superstars, if you count the, uh, the theme park act, too, where you go to, like, the haunted mansion, or the haunted house kind of portion of it a little bit, it's very minuscule, but it, it technically kind of counts. Hey. 
I missed the moon pissing scene. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really a fan of the Snap Cube uh, fan dubs. I don't really think they're that funny. Mainly just because that's not my kind of humor, honestly. If I'm skipping the cutscenes, why don't I use marathon mode? Uh, because I don't know what that is. such weird vision for this game compared to previous Sonic games. Like, fucking Sonic is gonna be hunted by the military and shit. So weird. Sonic is public enemy number one, motherfuckers. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if you even need this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back up. Sonic becomes the Unabomber. I feel like that's not gonna fly. It fits his character at least? Oh no, it fits his character. It's just putting him in this situation is kind of bizarre. Oh yeah, here's that part where that really fucking loud plane is just stuck there. Ah, what? What even? Was that the... Yeah, the thing actually hit me. I've, like, never been hit by that thing before. Fry, are you saying that Unabomber, uh, maintains the environmental themes of Sonic? Is that what you're fucking talking about? Jesus Christ. Generations might end up being the best looking Sonic game. I don't know about that. I forgot that that has a hitbox even before it falls. That's weird. What is the best looking Sonic game to me? Uh, art style wise, I really like uh, Sonic Heroes. Sweet, I'm not with you. I am tired of pixel art. Do I like the shiny character models? No, that looks weird, but uh, the overall aesthetic of Sonic Heroes, I'm a big fan of. Really, Hisuya? Yeah, you don't like the Heroes models? I personally feel that the Heroes models uh, are my favorites uh, for Modern Sonic. I think that they are the best-looking translation of Yuji Okawa's art into 3D. Oh, 
What's my favorite version of the tornado? Ah. Uh, probably the Sonic Adventure 1 version of it. The modern models are based off the heroes models, are they? Well, they kind of fucked it up a bit. All right, time for driving minigame. Did I have a classic bias as a kid? Not at all. Uh, most of my childhood was spent playing the adventure games. As a kid, I thought Sonic Heroes was the best video game ever. When did the bias start? I wouldn't call it a bias, I would call it a preference. Uh... I would say it started in my later years, when I went back to the original games, and I realized, wow, these are way better games. And then, you know, studying and learning about uh, the original Sonic concepts and ideas, and I was like, wow, this is way better too. attended Sonic College. Bro, I could found Sonic College. I can count on one hand, probably, the number of people that I think are as knowledgeable about Sonic as I am. so. Cyber Shell exists? I mean, maybe I'm tooting my own whore here to, uh, horn here, Tech Muse, but I feel like I know more about Sonic than Cyber Shell does. Cyber Shell knows more than me? I don't know. Pariah versus Cyber Shell Sonic Brain Ranking win. There's no, there's no way to prove it. That's true. There really is no way to prove it. Lord Team hates this guy. Learn his secret. Click on this ad. <laughs> People have talked about, like, Pariah versus uh, Cyber Shell and, like, Sonic Trivia. But who's gonna make the questions? Again, the car? Yeah, that's one of the things with Full Story. You play both the car levels back to back. But I think that's okay. Just get it out of the way. Posting could? 
Uh, I've not seen a lot from Sonic lore posting, but to be honest, I'm not impressed. Damn, I am such a fucking snob when it comes to being an obsessed Sonic weirdo. I didn't realize it. This conversation is teaching me things about myself. Sorry, I got something in my throat. Honestly, these levels require some of the most attention uh, of any of the levels I've played across either game. To not hit a wall. What's my f least favorite Rouge and Knuckles stage? Uh, the, the last Rouge one. What's it called? That one. I'm trying to read chat at the same time as playing. I keep hitting walls. It's all your fault again. Stop saying interesting and engaging things in chat so I'll stop looking. Oh my god, really? Holy shit. Well, more of this. Why no checkpoints? Why you do this to me? levels are actually a really good example of why I think you cannot make a faithful remake of Sonic Adventure, either of them. Because no modern developer would be okay with just having this highway floating in the sky. Like, have you ever just taken a moment to step back and just look at what I'm driving on? Languages tier list. I like the language in Gravity Rush. I think it's a really good sound in gibberish. Language? That's definitely a good fake language. What are the games that have the best fake languages? Gravity Rush, Rayman, definitely two up there contenders for sure. No one say Banjo. Banjo does not count. That's not even words. The characters just go burp, burp, burp. That's nothing. Klonoa's fake language? I didn't even know Klonoa had a fake language. I haven't played it. Sims language? But you don't know what they're saying. It is literally just noises. It's not, like, associated with words. Oh, Twilight Princess? Uh, Midna's gibberish? Yeah, that's really good. Inkling language? Inkling language is not bad. Not the best, but not bad. No falling off this time, jeez. This is the very end of the level two. Animal Crossing? I'm not familiar with Animal Crossing language. I've never played an Animal Crossing game before.
Uh, Drax, they're not reversed. They're, like, cut up and jumbled around. It's, like, totally, uh, all over the place. Oh, yeah, Revy, I forgot to do that. I gotta do that still. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, least favorite official Sonic story. Uh, I'm gonna say Team Sonic Racing because I don't even know what it is and I don't care to learn. <laughs> I should definitely play Klonoa. I have it on, uh, I got the collection on Steam. I just haven't played it yet. Lost World for sure. See, I can't even really say because I don't remember what the story of Lost World even is. when rail grinding was a mechanic? Uh, no, Adara. It's a Japanese-English uh, actress speaking in English. Uh, is Midna. Rail grinding was the best in Shadow of Five? Uh, definitely was not. They got rid of balancing in that game. has better rail grinding. Unleashed is just left and right quick step sections. It sucks. A TF2 mod with better rail grinding than most Sonic games. I guess that's not surprising. The F2 community is weird. Hawk has better rail grinding than Sonic. Yeah, but Tony Hawk's rail grinding is not built for platforming. Like, CS Ghost Surfing was added to Sonic? What would that even be? I mean, Sonic kind of already plays along those lines in a certain way anyway. Did you get Spark the Electric Jester 3? I have not played Spark 3, but I have played Spark 2. Spark 2 is excellent. I would definitely recommend that. Like, surf maps? 
I mean, that's just a ramp in a Sonic game with good physics, isn't it? <laughs> Back Sheba, thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. Love my content. They're nice and cozy and perfect to watch when you get off work. Uh, hope I've been doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad you like my stuff. I have been doing well. Thank you for asking. What are they going to replace lives with in Generations? Uh, time rewind tokens. So when you fall in a pit, we'll rewind time and uh, save you. Thoughts on dash panels? I've talked about dash panels in uh, some of my videos in the past. Uh, when they're utilized in a... Uh, like... And they're not overused, I should say. Uh, they're perfectly fine. Oh, Rhythm and Tempo. T uh, tempo, thank you again for another donation. Uh, someone who appreciates the finesse and brilliance of the older rail grinding style. Uh, when you play Heroes, do you hold the button or spam it like most people do? Don't seem to realize holding it is faster. Uh, rhythm and Tempo. I uh, hold it when that's the fastest thing to do, and I spam it when that's the fastest thing to do. Because it depends on the, uh, the situation, uh, the... Uh, the upward or downward angle of the rail, how fast you're going. Like, if you're at a dead stop, then uh, mashing it will get you up to speed, but uh, once you get going, you want to hold it. I know my shit. I talk about all this in my uh, Sonic Heroes video. This particular part of the level right here feels very Sonic 3 and Knuckles to me. More so than anything else in the game. Also, yes, when you're rail grinding, you can do the character swap thing and go infinitely fast. Hey, Lucky. Uh, late to the party. I am looking forward to Shadow Generations. I think it looks cool. Can I explain it? rail grinding in this game? Uh, hold the action button the entire time, and it just makes you go faster. And, uh... Then, uh, just lean into the turns. If it's going left, uh, then hold left. If it's going right, then hold right. But don't hold it all the way. You gotta, like, feather it a little bit. Uh, cause it's, uh, a little touchy in, uh, three releases. You just hope they write Shadow correctly? I am very uncertain about that. But we'll see. Yes! Sonic White, we don't know that the remaster will suck hard. We just have very good just reason to believe it will. <laughs> Eli, thank you very much for the donation. Love my content? Thanks, dude. I appreciate uh, you watching it all. And I appreciate all the comments. I I've seen you around many a times, Eli. And thanks to everyone who uh, comments and watches my stuff, hangs out on the streams. You're all awesome. around here anywhere? Maybe not. Oh. There we go. By the way, I guess I'll mention it again now. Uh... If anybody, uh, is interested in Pariah videos, uh, then on my Patreon and Coffee, you can watch, uh, the video I'm uploading tomorrow is already available. Oh yeah, it's in here. I forgot. Uh, but you don't have to donate or anything. Just go to my Patreon or Coffee, and you can get the link for free. If I didn't have the radar mod, this would be way more annoying. 
Uh, yeah, that's just the game. If you don't have the radar mod, it's more annoying. seen how weird the 100p songs are? Yeah, I mean, I've seen the, the lyrics. They're fine. You know, they're a little exaggerated and pushed to the extreme of uh, what's going through Knuckles' head. That's fine. It's music. Whatevs. Why did I bash the innocent boo for no good reason? I thought he might have the emerald, but I, I was checking to see if the radar would go off when I hit him. This is definitely not one of my favorite levels. Sonic music, lyric analysis when? Not happening. So I was checking if the radar would go off when I hit him, officer. Look, he's a ghost. He's fine. He can't even get hurt. Pariah covers of Sonic music. Uh, go to Emmy for that if that's what you want. I have zero musical ability of any kind. Still think Sonic Team insert tracks peaked with Burning Rangers? I mean, the Burning Rangers music is pretty fucking awesome. Yes, come pick it up there. Yo, if you've ever not uh, played Burning Rangers, which is all of you, uh, go listen to the music at least. It is so good. According to Pokemon, ghosts can be hurt. Well, those aren't ghosts. Those are ghost Pokemon, which is a completely different thing. I used to be fucking terrified of this boss when I was a kid. This was like a progression blocker for me as a child, because I just couldn't bring myself to play it, because I was so scared of this goofy-ass motherfucker. Ah, missed him. If you're really on the ball with that, you can hit all four things in one cycle, I'm pretty sure. still feel uncomfortable with him? I was really freaked out by, like, giant fish in, uh, in a lot of games. Like, the whale in Rayman 2, that's completely harmless, uh, scared the hell out of me. I didn't even dig him there. I don't know what happened, but I'll take it. No. No, I'm not doing another cycle. Fuck you. There we go. The Mario 64 fish. I never played Mario 64 as a kid, but that definitely would have scared the shit out of me. The fish that eats you on Tiny Huge Island and the, the eel. Those definitely would have scared the shit out of me as a kid. This is, like, the one good boss in this game. Well, not the one. I think that, uh, Flying Dog and, uh, Hot Shot are also pretty good. But this is probably the best boss in the game. I 
I wonder, can you, like, spin dash up to him and bounce and, like, you know, do the weird collision thing to fly up to his head immediately? You probably can. I should try for it. Why not? Why not try for it? What's the worst thing that could happen? Whoops! I hit the button again. Didn't mean to double hit there. Hello. Beep. Keep fucking up the inputs. Nope. I'm sure a speedrunner can do it, but I cannot, because I suck. Come on. Get the thing, Jesus. Thoughts on Mega Man? I've not played many Mega Man games, so I don't really have many thoughts. Uh, but Mega Man X is a really awesome game. That's pretty much my entire thoughts on Mega Man. Anything you don't like about this boss is that stairs don't stay out? I mean, you can pretty much go immediately every time anyway. You'd love for a Mega Man video? I'll probably cover Mega Man when I play through the series. Prior speedruns when? Not a speedrunner. Prior time attacks? I don't know if I want to stream time attacks. That requires a lot of focus, and I don't think it's very entertaining to watch. Close to a speedrunner, but it's not speedrunning. It is different. Why don't I have soap shoes? Uh, because soap is no longer a company that exists. You like my Frontiers Time Attack videos? Thanks, but no one else did. <laughs> You know, a lot of people say that CD is their favorite classic game aesthetically. I'm not really there. I mean, it's a fine-looking game, but it's not my favorite. I mean, in many ways, CD is just like Sonic 1 Plus in its aesthetic. I'd probably say overall I like 3K the most in terms of looks. Sonic Advance 3 is great aesthetically. Well, all of the uh, the GBA Sonic games, I think, look fantastic. The sprite art in those games is, in my opinion, the best sprite art that Sonic, the whole series, has ever had. They just look so good. Well, everyone's technically a speeder, speedrunner, just some people are garbage at it. Well, I guess that technically makes me a speedrunner. If anyone can be a speedrunner... I would generally think that being a speedrunner would mean, like, being part of the speedrun community of a game. And, you know, actually trying to speedrun. That probably also is a factor. I mean, I guess you could argue I'm a speedrunner in some games, because I have some top times in some games. Like, Cloud Built, I want to say there's at least a level or two, at least last time I played the game, that I did have a top time in. But that's probably long gone by this point. Oh, shit. What the fuck even happened there? Motherfucker. I gotta go back up.
You missed the stream technically inept? I mean, there's still plenty of SA2 to go. Hey, big. How would I like a Sonic game with DMC combat? I don't want combat in Sonic. I want a Sonic game to be a Sonic game. Oh yeah, Eli. Cloud Built is a difficult game to get your head around. Uh, it is extremely precise and very difficult and asks a lot more from you than uh, most games. But it's so fun! And I think it has some fantastic level design. Perhaps some of the best level design I've ever seen in a 3D platformer. What are my thoughts on Sonic Makes Out with Shadow Generations? Technically inept. I'm looking forward to it. I am very uh, hesitant about the story, but I think I will enjoy the game. Am I disappointed about the Knuckles spinoff being Paramount only? No, I don't give a fuck about the Sonic movies. I didn't mean to hit that monitor, I was just trying to do the, the thing, the spinny thing. I think this is the worst level in SA2? Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. I think Sega will ever do this, uh, Sonic and Shadow fusing? Probably not. I feel like, of all of their, uh, Dragon Ball ripping offness, they probably set some boundaries of, like, okay, no fusing. We're not gonna do that one. <laughs> Would be my guess. Which I agree with. I mean, I, I just don't see the point in fusing. Fusing is cool in Dragon Ball because Dragon Ball couldn't tell a good story to save its life, so it uses that to get people hype. These levels are certainly a lot better with the SA-1 radar. DBZ fans don't care about story? You can say that again. You know, I've never watched or read Dragon Ball, like, pre-DBZ stuff, but I feel like I would enjoy that a lot more than DBZ. Like, it's kind of weird how Dragon Ball, like, completely veers off course of what it was originally supposed to be. Like, originally, it was an action-adventure martial arts comedy series about a kid traveling around the world to collect Dragon Balls uh, so he can grant a wish. Like, that was the idea of what Dragon Ball was. And then over time, it devolved into fighting, and then more fighting, and then some extra fighting, and then even more fighting... And I don't know, I kind of like the idea of original Dragon Ball more than that. Don't know if it's actually any good, though. Someone who's watched or read it, tell me, is original Dragon Ball any good? Dragon Ball never seriously changed? I mean, I would say it definitely did. 
How did I miss the thing? Okay, where is this? Uh, yellow light balcony. Um... OGDB is kind of overrated. Like I said, I've never actually, uh... Watched it for myself, so I don't know. I just feel like I would like the concepts more there. I need another hint. The lowest place. Okay. Up we go! Like, I just think about Dragon Ball Z and how many characters from Dragon Ball have just completely, like, lost relevance and fallen into the background. Like, you know, Tien, Yamcha, Bulma, or even, like, other characters like uh, Launch and uh, Yajirobe and stuff. Like, all characters that were, like, quirky weirdos that Goku runs into on his adventures, and then they all just become, like, nothing characters. So that way we can have the new Super Saiyan character show up. Alright, let's get the glasses. I got the fucking hammer, so I'll get the glasses. I just realized I forgot to get the air breather necklace uh, for Knuckles, so... Ganon's score will be interesting. I haven't done that without the air breather in forever. Alright, okay, is there anything down here? wonder how crazy Dragon Ball would have been if it came out today. Honestly, it probably wouldn't have been that big of a deal, because there would have been some other action series that came out and did the Dragon Ball thing. And, like, there are so many shonen action shows that are just, like, inspired by Dragon Ball, but just kind of do what it does better. So nowadays, I think Dragon Ball would kind of fall by the wayside. If Dragon Ball came out today, people would hate Vegeta. Okay. I've talked about this a little bit in the past, but, like, what is the deal with Sonic fans shitting on Vegeta all the time? There's always, like, the negative comparisons that, oh, Shadow is just Vegeta now, as if Vegeta is, like, a super shallow, one-dimensional, I'm a bad guy character, which he was at the very beginning of Dragon Ball, and then turns into the one of the most, like, complex, depthful characters in Dragon Ball, where he turns into a good guy, but he's still a dick. And, uh, his arrogance ends up leading to problems like Cell Saga and shit. And he gets, like, put in his place multiple times, uh, and starts to accept the fact that he's not the strongest ever. And eventually gets to a point where he's okay with his lot in life, and he has a wife and a kid, and he's just kind of living life as a guy, and he's mellowed out. To the point where he sacrifices himself to save everyone else, including Goku, who he fucking hated. Like, that is a really nice long-term character arc. Why is everyone shit on Vegeta all the time? Salty Sonic fans, that's what it is. If anything, I would say the Shadow Vegeta comparison is pretty apt. Everyone was brain dead on Cell Saga except Future Trunks. I mean, everyone is brain dead in like every Dragon Ball story, period. Shadow became a ripoff of Vegeta. I mean, spoilers, he didn't become that. He was always that. <laughs> Are those chaos enemies ever explained? No, but it's kind of a thing for you to just, like, infer what's going on. The fact that Gerald has, um... Or on the arc, there's a recreation of the, uh... 
the Master Emerald Altar, it leads into pretty natural uh, uh, assumptions that Gerald was trying to recreate chaos artificially or something like that. Oh yeah, and I do think it is mentioned in Shadow the Hedgehog. What do I think would be the best Sonic crossover besides Mario? Maybe Crash Bandicoot. I feel like Crash, you could easily just say, takes place, like, Insanity Island could just exist as an island in the world of Sonic, right? What an amazing boss. Well, Gabriel, I'm glad you uh, enjoy them more, thanks to my videos. Crash should cross over with DK. He can cross over with both. That's fine. Probably the best mech level in the game, right? Because of the high jumping. It's fun. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Shadow is super inspired by Mewtwo, but he's also clearly inspired by Vegeta. Yes, no, but Shadow is absolutely the world's most powerful Pokemon, for sure. You know, I've never watched the original Pokemon movie. I should probably watch that. Just to understand uh, some of the influences that went into Shadow's creation, because I'm a Sonic weirdo that needs to know everything. Sonic fans acting like Shadow isn't a Vegeta ripoff? Yeah, I mean, Shadow is Vegeta plus Mewtwo plus Sonic. Just put them together in a bowl. With a little bit of extreme sports influence in there as well. Which really you can see throughout all of SA2. What is my favorite band? Not really much of a music guy. I honestly couldn't even tell you. There's a difference between ripoff and inspiration. I mean, yeah, but it's one of those things where one does one become another. The genre of first-person shooter used to be called Doom Clones. Yes. When I like the when I like a band, tell you, uh, I like Daft Punk. I don't know if that counts as a band. I, I associate bands with like rock or metal. Yes. But they're a group. They're a group that I like. I mean, does anyone not like Daft Punk? And if you don't, what's wrong with you? Uh, did I play SA1? Yeah, we already did that. What's my favorite Sonic OST? People are always asking me what's my favorite Sonic OST or favorite Sonic song. I don't know. There's too many great freaking songs in this franchise. How am I supposed to pick? Fuck you. What's your favorite Sonic song, huh? It's hard to answer, isn't it, motherfucker? Shadow nowadays barely has any personality. I mean, to be fair, he was pretty good in um, Sonic Prime. He was pretty shadowy in that. Live and learn easy? See, I, I don't think that's easy at all. There's so much great butt rock in Sonic. Live and learn is up there, but I don't know if I would say it's my favorite. Yes. 
Night of the Wind for sure. Night of the Wind is definitely very good. I'm a really big fan of uh, With Me from Black Knight. But, uh, specifically the Crush 40 version of it. That's a very good song. I also like His World a lot. His World is one of my favorites. I like all versions of His World too. The Zebrahead version is uh, very, very good. But I probably think I like the original the most. What I made of is also very good. See, exactly. It's just too hard. There's too many good songs. Fuck you. Pumpkin Hill for joke songs? Pumpkin Hill is not at all a joke song. It just is what it is. I should play 06 eventually on stream? Not gonna happen. Probably not. I mean, I'm not gonna say entirely no, but unlikely. I'll play P06, though. Do I like Nate Wants to Battle's covers of Sonic songs? Uh, I haven't really listened to many of them, but I definitely did like One Way Dream. One Way Dream is honestly one of my favorite Sonic songs, too. You know what is actually a Sonic song that I like a lot that doesn't get a lot of love, but I think is very good? I like Team Rose's theme from Sonic Heroes. I'm a big fan of that, like, really peppy uh, kind of rock music. I think it's very nice. You know, the uh, Frontiers boss music, like Breakthrough It All and everything, yes. it's good music and it's the kind of metal that I like, but it really feels like it doesn't feel like Sonic music at all. To me, it feels like Call of Duty Zombies music. <laughs> but I'll take it. Junior. It's good. I like it. What about the Sonic X JP theme? The Sonic X JP theme kind of sucks, to be honest. It's not good. The American fucking gotta go fast is actually much better. Hello, Sonic? Hello? My guy. There we go, Jesus. See you, Raynoir. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Phantom Fear, do I, I don't like the, uh, JP opening, what about the ending? I don't like the ending either. I don't like either of them. I think they're both really bad. Crazy Gadget is cursed? I don't hate Car Crazy Gadget. I think it's okay. I'm going for the, the big one. Not too bad to make. Yeah. Easy. Wow, that bitch fucking put his arm up on the trajectory I was going before I even jumped. I gotta be trolling, there's no way. Look, y'all just suck at the final section. I'll show you how it's done. What about the Italian Sonic X opening? I have no idea what it is. Is 
this live? I don't know, you tell me. You mean my, my gameplay? Yeah, the gameplay is live. I just know these games so well that I can muscle memory through a lot of it and just look at chat while playing. You know what I did like? There was uh, a cover of the American Sonic X opening by the band who did the Japanese Sonic X opening. And it's very cool. Uh, I recommend checking it out. Here's how you do this. Let's see if I remember. <laughs> Me not liking the Japanese OP of Sonic X is probably my hottest take. No, my hottest take is that I don't like pizza. We've been over this. What are people freaking out over? I haven't even done anything yet. I completely forgot to do the, the like, big skip. What are y'all freaking out over? Oh, you're freaking out over I don't like pizza. I see. Yeah, I forgot about the skip there. Oh, well. Yes! Look, I am not really a huge fan of cheese, and I don't like tomato, so there's pizza dead on arrival for me right there. Now y'all know why I'm avoiding Pizza Tower? Yeah, that's it. Never gonna watch Bry again? Well, it is what it is. Am I going to have to issue a public apology for this? I probably don't like potatoes. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'll eat fucking potatoes like a motherfucker. YouTube apology video over pizza. I'm sorry, everyone, for my transgressions. I didn't mean to offend anyone. Oh! Ah! Fucked up. How did I upload a video 16 minutes ago? What are you talking about? I didn't upload anything. Oh, spin dashing? I didn't upload that 15 minutes ago, Eli. I uploaded that yesterday. other hot takes? I'm full of hot takes. What are you talking about? I'm the hot take machine. Yeah. 
Fuck that up. There we go. How's a drop dash gonna work in Generations? I honestly have no idea. Hot uh, take stream? Uh, I'd rather not. I gotta save each an individual hot take for a video. Oh yeah, I missed that shortcut. What ifs? Uh, any cold takes? Uh, Sonic Generations is a good video game. I wonder if I can make that to that rail in the distance there in the background. Probably not. What the fuck? Why you go through the rail, Sonic? Uh, what would I prefer getting a remaster over Jens? Uh... I would like a Sonic Advance slash Sonic Rush collection. Those games should be available again. That's why you hate Final Rush? What, because you're not good at it? It's called making a mistake. No biggie. I know that that rail you clip through, uh, if you're too low on it. I just thought I was high enough to, uh... Yes! ...to not go through. Huh. No problem. You miss this rail grinding so much, Bravia? Yeah. They were like, man, the rail grinding is a fucking sick mechanic. Let's just make the final levels in the game all about that, because it's, like, the best thing in the game. Finally, Shadow gameplay. Yeah, it's a weird thing. Shadow only has four levels in this game. This whole fucking game is all about him, and he's the least played character. Every other character gets five levels to them, uh, except for Sonic, who gets six. So it's like five per, you know, side, but I guess because Sonic is the main character, they wanted him to have more levels than anybody else. But that comes at the sacrifice of Shadow having less levels than everybody else, even though he's the fucking focal point of the entire goddamn game. It's really weird. Tails and Rouge have four? Well, they have five if you count the plane, the driving levels. Get the fuck up there, Shadow. These are very janky. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Bouncing Shadow? Yeah, that's a mod. Max time. I talked about this earlier in the stream. There is no way in hell that that uh, was ever the case. I will guarantee you that the very inception of this game was six playable characters. This is actually a pretty good reuse of level design in this case, because it does feel like Shadow is chasing after Sonic, because he's going through the same areas, right? Kind of cool. That's an appropriate way to utilize that. Good. 
Sonic technically has seven, what, seven levels? You're not talking about Cannon's core, are you? Because that is not a Sonic level. That is an everyone but Shadow level. Oh, Green Hill. Oh yeah, that is true, Green Hill. But I don't count that because that level sucks. <laughs> to the race car levels. Yeah, I know. It was a joke. It was a joke. Yes. So, 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 Maybe they gave Shadow four levels to foreshadow his death? Uh... Nah, probably not. They probably just want to give Sonic the most levels, because he's Sonic. It took me forever to figure out how to win this fight uh, as a kid. I did not know what to do when you get to that final phase. Do I fight the boss twice in this mod? Nope. You do not. I can't skip this cutscene. Weird. Sonic, Oh yeah, Shadow being in Generations will make their rematch cooler. Definitely true. This game is pretty hard for an 8-year-old game. It definitely is. Where does the three playable character thing come from? I have no idea. Just a weird misconception that just appeared out of nowhere for no reason. Uh, Alfie, I imagine the Shadow Generations is gonna be completely separate from, uh, Sonic Generations. Like, it's a separate game. I highly expect that it's going to be, like, at the main menu you pick, do you want to play Sonic Generations or Shadow Generations? Like Bowser's Fury in, uh, our 3D world. Come on. There we go. Uh, do I think the shadow level design will be as good as Generation's main stages? No. Uh, I imagine that they will be, uh... Similar to Frontier's cyberspace levels, most likely. You don't think Shadow reliving his past is gonna be fun for him? 
And then Laura's saying he would not care at all. Well, Laura, that depends on what is the current uh, rule about Shadow's characterization and how is he being written. We have no idea what Shadow even is as a character right now. Do I think combat will be intrusive? We don't even know if there's going to be combat. All we've seen is Shadow do some Chaos Snaps and shoot a Chaos Spear. So maybe during boss fights, but we have no idea if it'll actually be in the levels. Come on. This is a pretty fun level design. I do like this part of the level. Minus the waiting. You hope this isn't another character regression situation? Uh, well, Bravia, is it character regression if he's already there? It's just we don't know that he's already there because we haven't had the opportunity to see what Shadow's current uh, characterization is for uh, for a long time, especially in relation to how he feels about his past. Thought strikes fear into your heart. See, I've already accepted that Sonic is just dead, so I'm not worried about it. And if it turns out to be good, that'll be a nice surprise. Uh, yes, Master Review. I do think they are going to reuse uh, Frontier's gameplay. I mean, why wouldn't they? It was uh, pretty well received, especially for a Sonic game. Sold quite well. They have every motivation to do that. Setting my expectations low? Yeah, I mean... Like, I was not disappointed by Sonic Frontiers, because it was pretty much exactly what I thought it would be. Same with Superstars, I would also say. Pretty much what I expected. What do I think the solution here is? What do you mean, Grim Jim? Solution to what? Liquid area? What do you mean, what do I think the solution is? I, I, you just solved the puzzle. It's very simple. If the Shadow Campaign is shorter than Forces, it's over for us. I mean, expect it to be short. It's not gonna be long. It's a little bonus thing that they're throwing in as an incentive to buy the game again. It's literally just like Bowser's Fury. I expect Shadow Generations to be about two hours long, including cutscenes, maximum. No air e Eclis? Nope, I forgot to get it, so we're doing it raw. Yeah, why does it being short automatically mean bad? Agreed, Sonic White. Duck! The fucking animation makes you lose control and go down a little bit. That fucked me. Oh, the liquid solution. Okay, your use of the word solution there confused me. Uh... I don't know. It's, uh, it's bio-goo.
You want to play shorter games with shitty graphics? Well, there's plenty of those in the indie game space. Juice. Uh, maybe it's the same shit in Evangelion that lets them breathe in the robot suits, or suits, in the Avas. was an extremely boring game to you and many other people, Gabriel. I don't know if you're aware, but it's not exactly a popular Sonic game. Can you imagine the Biolizard juice sitting there for 50 years? You don't know if it was sitting there for 50 years. Maybe there's an automatic system that filters it and cycles it and creates new, fresh Biolizard juice. Thank you very much, uh, Creenail Kill. Uh, glad you like my stuff. See you around. Oh yeah, Sonic Forces is definitely overhated. I'll talk about it when I get to covering that game. Maybe this is how Chaos Soda is created. That's why Gun uh, shut down the arc. You know, it, they were like, it was supposed to be a cover up. Uh, you know, to stop all this experimentation everything. In reality, Gerald discovered the formula for Chaos Cola, and uh, the government wanted it for themselves. That's what really happened. I forget what the motivation was for the gun uh, raid on the arc in Sonic Adventure 2. Prior to Shadow, uh, I don't remember what the reason was. I think it was just like... The government started not liking all the weird experiments, so they shut it down. But I don't think it is specifically stated that it's caused by any particular incident. I don't think. It was the Black Arms? Yeah, but that didn't exist at this time yet. I don't know what it was in the context of SA2. Bio Lizard was unstable. Was that it? That they're like, the Bio Lizard keeps killing people. <laughs> this is a problem. That would make sense. series since colors feels like the equivalent of Disney Star Wars. I would disagree with that a little bit in the sense that uh, you can tell they're trying. They're just failing. Disney Star Wars is just heartless garbage. What do I think of this boss battle? It's not great. But by this game's standards, it's not the worst thing in the world. Bravia, a lot of people say that the Bio Lizard is based on chaos, but I really don't see where that comes from, other than it's a big lizard-looking thing. But... Chaos looks like a snake crocodile thing, and this is like a salamander. And also, the bio lizard wasn't supposed to be gigantic. That happened accidentally. <laughs> B 
by a lizard is based on chaos. I have never seen any hard source that states that. Uh, and I don't really see that there's a lot to, like, lead into that theory. Other than that, it's a big lizard. Oh, it has the same roar. Yeah, that's called reusing a fucking sound effect. They can also both use Chaos Control. Yeah, the entire point of the Bio Lizard was to create something that could use Chaos Control. That's what they were trying to do. Also, Artificial Chaos exists. Yeah, but there's nothing to say that... Whoa, what the hell is going on with Sonic's character model there? Hello, Sonic. I got some mods conflicting, I think. Jesus Christ, boy, are you okay? Gonna have to work that out later. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. He's an abomination. <laughs> Yeah, Blue Star, that does not mean that the Bio Lizard is based on chaos. Can we not skip the final cutscene? You can't skip the final cutscene anyway. It plays no matter what. My guess is that it would probably have something to do with uh, trying to load the uh, the trial model for Supersonic is probably causing issues. Hydrate myself? I have been drinking water, but you're right. It's been a bit. I need to drink some more. Wow, that was one of the easiest final hazards I've ever had. It's due to the render fix mod? Really? Is this a known issue? It looks like Sonic is the one that's dying in his super form here instead of Shadow. Yeah, I can't skip this. I tried. It just plays. Nothing you can do. Really weird that they cut out the extra dialogue here. This scene is much better with the cut dialogue in it. Skip the cutscene. I can't. I can't skip the cutscene. Not skippable. Cut dialogue? Yeah, there's cut dialogue here. Skip it anyway. People really want me to skip. Do I have the video? Video of what? You mean the cut dialogue? Uh, I talk about it in my SA2 story video. Sonic X has a lot of the cut dialogue restored. What was the cut dialogue? Um... First of all, before Shadow hears the voice of Maria, he hears all the other characters are cheering Sonic and Shadow on. And then after he hears Maria say, uh, you know, whatever you can do it, uh, let the people be happy. Shadow then exclaims aloud, I am Shadow the Hedgehog, which is very thematically important. I'm not going to get into the details right now. Go watch my SA2 story video. Isn't that in Sonic X? Yeah, Sonic X uses a lot of the cut dialogue from this game. Do I think Shadow Generations have a Super Shadow finale? Probably. I'm 
まだエメラルドを追いかけますつもりかやめとくなんか苦労の割に儲けなさそうだしそれに今回は宝石よりもいいものが手に入ったから Very different line there. In English. Naruhodo. Scurata. You're right, Sonic White. I was wrong. I was going off memory. Will I ever do a, review, a video on Sonic X? Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure, Subsonic Sparkle. Like I said in my video, this is Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. The, the final capper to the series. And then it wasn't. Which really it never was going to be. It's kind of weird that they chose to do this. But, uh... It's pretty effective. It's kind of weird that we watched the final cutscene when we didn't watch any of the other ones. <laughs> Was Sonic created in a lab by Gerald? No, Sonic was created by a lady that wrote stories and a pilot and whatever. Shoutouts to Wendy and uh, Lux18. Uh, Lux18 is a watcher. Uh, I've talked with them a number of times about uh, SA2 mods and stuff. They're cool. You hope they adapt this ending for Sonic 3? As I've said many times on stream. I do not think Sonic 3 is going to be an adaptation of Sonic Adventure 2. No chance. I'm going to tell you right now, the Space Colony arc will not be in that movie. I'm going to tell you that. That is not going to happen. Yeah, Bravia. I'm a big fan of the original Sonic Origin. And if it is, I would be extremely surprised. Oh, you have a surprise for me, Bravia? Is it too convoluted? No, Subsonic Sparkle. It's that A, that's a lot of expensive CG stuff or sets we gotta build. And B, how is that gonna center around the small town of Green Hills? And how are we gonna get Tom and whatever the fuck her name is involved if we go to space? Oh, you've seen the movie leaks? I haven't seen the movie leaks. Nobody tell me. I don't want to know. Well, Saxon already spoiled it. What's the best way to experience Sonic X? Watch it in Japanese with subtitles. Look, he's Jesus. Well, there we go. There is the Sonic Adventure games. Ah, talk Shadow Generations, played the Adventure games. Five-hour stream. I think that's my longest one yet. And also, one with the most viewership. Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. It was a fun time. I'll definitely play more Sonic games on stream. Uh, maybe play through all the original games all in one go eventually. Uh, maybe Heroes and Shadow and uh, maybe PO6 all in one stream, something like that. I don't know. I'll think about it. But uh, yeah, it was fun. I'm looking forward to Shadow Generations. Uh, I have some hope for it. Hopefully it'll be good. Uh, yes, pretty much it. I'm gonna go because my voice is tired. Uh... So I'll see y'all later. Uh, look forward to the video tomorrow, by the way. Uh, if you want to check it out now, it's on my Patreon and coffee. Don't need to donate or anything. It's free. Just head there and uh, check them out. I should probably have another video up the next day as well. So uh, that'll probably be up on Patreon and coffee tomorrow. Anyway, go, uh, go check out that stuff if you want. If not, I'll see you next stream, probably next Monday, I think. Uh, later, everybody.